Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing this morning? Let me know, of course, how I sound as usual. I always check before we get started, but the computer's uh, being hateful today, so of course, let me know if I sound all good. I always find it hilarious when I'm streaming. There's a little button on Twitch that says, run a 60 second ad break. It's like, I don't even get ads. Why is that there? <laughs> But yeah, good morning everyone. I know it's I know it's I know it's early. However, I've been struggling this morning, so I'm glad we can finally get to do something fun. Eric's giving an update on his box that got squished in through his mail slot. So his top of the top card of the top pack was a bent a tad. All other cards are A-OK. -okay. So that was probably just the foil common then, Eric. But uh, a little unfortunate, but glad that the rest of your cards are still good. Wanderer says morning. Sounds wonderful as always. Thank you. Steven says sounds good. Dragon says sounds great. So that is cool. I know there's not too many of us here this morning, but that's okay. Travis says hi. Hi, Travis. Yeah, I don't know what this card's called yet, Dan. I actually didn't find one, I don't think, in our preview box last week. So I don't, I don't know what his name is, but I wanted to pick the turtle because he's cute. I've been trying out all these new different Commander Legends play mats this week, except for Wednesday because it was hockey day, so I used the hockey mat. But I really like a lot of the art from this set, so I'm excited to see some really nice stuff. Now I'm thinking... Mad Max says, go back to bed if it's early. If only life worked like that, Mad Max. But I was thinking we could start with our case of collector boosters because we do have a full case of collector booster boxes and draft boosters to open. But I'll ask you guys, what would you like to see first? Like I said, I, I am partial to the collector boosters because I haven't opened any of that yet, so that, that I'm really excited to check out. But if you guys want to see drafts first, I could do that. Fedsy TV says, hey, 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 Fedsy, how's it going? Dylan says, good morning, can't wait to pick up my boxes. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? Good morning, Anthony. Coffee and donuts sound good. Fedsy says he's at work. I hope I can give you uh, some nice background noise, Fedsy. Mad Max says, the turtle gets a mat, but Lutri doesn't. That's a good point. James is getting ready to go pick up my collector box. Good morning. Ooh, good luck on your box as well, James. And Demi Pat God is here. Says, good morning, good morning. All MTG today. Yeah, Fed, say I was going to record these boxes. So I'll tell you guys what happened, why I'm here live. Uh, initially, we were throwing on the idea of doing a, a live opening of the, collect, the, uh, the draft boosters. But... I tried to record stuff this morning and I got through, I actually, it was weird, I was about 30 seconds from finishing the video too. I was recording an alley chat for this weekend for my personal channel, so I guess alley chat's now going to be a bi-weekly segment because I don't have time to record another one. But it was a really good episode, I liked it, I was having a good time, I was wrapping it up. Computer froze, had to, it, it wouldn't do anything, I had to hold down the power button, turn it back on. It did something weird when it turned back on, it tried to make me sign into like a Microsoft account. That's not linked up to this computer. Um, so then I had to redo it again. And then it turned back on. It turned fine. It was weird because actually on Wednesday, after I was having those issues with the speaker, the Windows Media Player, like the one that's normally on here, it wasn't there. It was only the regular Windows Media Player. But that like went away. Now it's back to the old thing. I don't know. This computer is like... So I'll have to get that changed later, which is why the stream, I know some of you guys were like, the, the stream is uh, too early. It's like, well, I got, I got a lot of stuff to do this afternoon. So early is early. But um... So I couldn't, I don't feel comfortable recording anything because, you know, it only stopped 30 minutes in. I don't know how long all these boxes would take. I would, you know, and it crashed. The footage is corrupted. The file won't open. So I don't have that 30 minute alley chat anymore. It's gone. Rip alley chat. So I don't feel comfortable recording anything. I messaged the first person who had a personal break scheduled for today. If they don't answer me, I'll just put them on Monday. Message the next person, see if they want it live tomorrow or Monday. And we'll see how that goes. But, um... We have a new, the thing is, is there is a new computer that just needs to get set up. I was going to do it on Sunday when I had free time, but that's going to happen this afternoon. Also got a flat tire on my car, so I also have to go fix that after the stream. Trey just subscribed. Thank you, Trey. And yeah, so today has been uh, wonderful. But I'm excited. Obi Cortez says start with the collector boosters, which is what I wanted to do, so that's what I'm going to do, because no one else gave feedback. Yee. Also, the collector boosters you think would go faster, because they're smaller, but... Thank you for the F. I appreciate it. No, no, no. Was, uh, I mean, I don't mean complaining as in, like, seriously complaining. But there were there were people before you popped in Dragon that are like, why are we at 10 a.m.? Yeah, Betsy, I, have, I still haven't been able to see even uh, Season 1 yet of Mando, so... I don't get their yay Friday Mando stuff. That doesn't apply to me yet. But Anthony says, by the way, Allie, love this shirt top. It's so pretty and brings out your smile. Thank you. I love this shirt. 
As I was talking about in my alley chat, that was now canceled. So now I don't feel bad about repeating myself all the time. This is probably the favorite, my most favorite shirt that I own. I just really like the design. Travis asks, are you doing breaks on Saturday? Always, Travis, every Saturday night starting at 7.45 p.m. Lots of hockey. And a little bit of Commander Legends, not as much as I expected. There's still a lot of maximum gold for some reason. But yeah, so we already got a lot of stuff scheduled for this weekend. Probably get more, more tonight. Ultimate Pack Battle says, hey, Allie, just stopping in to say hi before I pop off to work. Have a great day at work, Ultimate Pack Battles. Thanks for dropping by. I have Disney Plus now, Dragon. I just don't have the time. Right now, Gorilla, we're just doing it. We're cracking for the shop because I can't record. Because if the computer cuts out while we're streaming, at least the footage is saved on YouTube. If it cuts out while I'm recording, the footage files get corrupted. So we can always just start a stream over. But anyway, Miss Midwest Wizard Lockstar says, hard work, and thank you. I do try my best. But we're going to start with collector boosters. I did actually hear, I mean, collector booster cases right now are six. I was looking, when we were doing the ordering for our call time, because the pre-orders went up for us to order call time, call time collector boosters come in cases of 12. So they're doubling the size of a case. But yeah, so yeah, collector booster, a little tiny, a little six box case here. And then we have our six box draft booster case afterwards. I'm excited to check out these collector boosters. Like I was saying, I haven't opened any before. So hopefully, see some really cool cards. I'm excited to see the foils. Excited to see more mythics, because I've only opened one draft box. Only seen a few mythics. I mean, I've pulled pre-orders on TCG Player, so I've seen the other ones. But I haven't, like, experienced opening up, like, a mana drain or... Any, I, I got a Vampiric Tutor, that's it. I haven't pulled a Jeweled Lotus or anything like that. So I'm excited to check out what's in here. Tickhawk's at school. Oh man. Most boring class. But you know what, Tickhawk? I'm here to distract you and be a bad influence on your life. Pay attention to your teacher, but also pay attention to me. But all right, let's go ahead. Hey, Stefan just subscribed. Thank you, Stefan. Let's get into our case of Collector Boosters of Commander, uh, Commander Legends. I won't say Commander Rising. That sounds like a cool name for a set, though. That sounds like a Commander Legends sequel, if I do say so myself. But let's go ahead and get on into this case by snapping us into the corner. You guys might not believe it, but I've had two coffees already, even though it doesn't sound like it. Tickhawk says, oh, Allie, me and my dad bought five single packs of Series 1 Hobby and hit a Vasilevsky Auto. That sounds cool. Oh, I saw. It was on. It was from Canada, though, so the shipping was expensive. But there's a Fanimation Vasilevsky on auction. Uh, I kind of want it, but I also don't want to spend that much. Traver says he works at Culver's. Did I cut this side or did Bossman cut that side on accident? Interesting. I don't remember cutting both sides, but whatever. I've never been to a Culver's because the uh, the idea of like custard and stuff doesn't doesn't do it for me. Also, when the one there was a Culver's down the street from the shop that like opened up, and as soon as it opened up, Bossman sent me to go get lunch there, and he got food poisoning. So we don't go to Culver's anymore. Mad Max, I should have had a third cup. You know, I was actually thinking about going and making another cup of coffee when uh, when Dragon arrived and said he was drinking coffee and waiting to go to the dentist. And I was like, mmm, coffee. Dragonfire says, I've seen a lot of these unboxings and Jewel Lowe's is looking like a triple auto card. Very rare. It was weird because the box that I opened, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't crazy, the one last weekend. But Bossman had opened a case last weekend. And out of a case, he got like a case and a half or so not two cases he got eight jeweled lotuses like five tutors it was ridiculous like he got incredible incredible pulls there but i'm assuming that's not normal but we do have a dragon here this is what i imagine dragon fire looks like because it's a dragon with fire Anthony asks, why is cheese curd such a big thing in Florida? Uh, I haven't heard that. I mean, I know it's big in Montreal because of poutine, which I hate. I, I love poutine, but I just hate the word cheese curds. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. Something about it is like, ugh, it just sounds gross. But all righty. Commander Legends Collector Booster. Let's look at the back. Maybe I should pull off the shrink wrap. I'm going to take off the shrink wrap first so I don't have to try and read through all the little wizards logos. Oh, for the first time also, I changed our category on Twitch because we're only open up Magic, so I switched the category to the Magic Gathering. Although people are going to think I'm playing Arena or something, but I'm just opening Collector Boosters. But you know what? Whatever. I couldn't take away the game overlay ta the tag. It's just there. I couldn't get rid of it, so like, whatever. But yes, we're not in just chatting for once. 
I don't know how many people are watching on Twitch. I don't have that because I have the YouTube window open because YouTube's the one that's a little suspicious sometimes. I have the Twitch chat pulled up, but I don't know how many people are actually watching on Twitch right now. If you're on Twitch, drop by and say hi. I know Fedsy's here, but let me know. Let me know. Zinho says no box toppers. Come on, Hasbro. Papa Rican says hi. Hello. Fedsy is here. I know. I know. I know. Working away. I know, but I know you're here. I'm saying I know we have, now I know we have at least two people watching on Twitch. I think we have 96 on YouTube, which is a lot for 10 a.m. I've been talking for 11 minutes. Holy cow. Alrighty. Good morning, Dorcas Malorcas. Papa Rican says it shows nine on my screen. Oh, Papa Rican, you must be on a, uh... oh, you mean stream time. YouTube says 10.52. Uh, it's 10.11, so that's why I was saying 11 minutes, because I, I attempted to start at 10. I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little while to for the little thing to go whoop. But all right. Unless you mean 9 a.m., which is possible as well. It could be in a different time zone. Oh, we didn't look at the back of the box. That's what I wanted to look at. Command attention with special legends. Cast your commander in style with the new et foil etch cards found in every collector booster. Each booster contains two foil etch cards. Oh, that's cool. Two extended art cards, ten foils a foil token, and up to five mythics. Your commander deck has never looked so luxurious. All right. Oh, nine people. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, too. Ted says, what are the big cards in this? Or there are many. Um, hey, native card guy with a $1.39 super sticker. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Jeweled Lotus in here. We're looking for a scroll rack, really tanked in price, but still 26 bucks. You have Mana Drain. You have Vampiric Tutor. Uh, Opposition Agent is still pretty expensive, especially the uh, Extended Arts. Uh, extended art preordained foils are $21. That's a common. But yeah. Midwest Wizard. I keep, every time I see your name, I think it says Midwest Lizard because I see the L in Lockstar and my brain just tries to move it over. But yeah. 570 Gaming says get that jeweled lotus and scroll rack. Good luck. Mana Drain looks awesome in full art as well. I'm excited. I'm excited to check this out. Like I said, I had, this was going to be my first openings of Collector Boosters this morning, our first videos. The computer decided not to. Hawk is on Twitch. Do Magic cards have a similar market to Pokemon? I feel like they release a new set every week. Uh, Pokemon has their specialty stuff, but it's usually like four sets a year. Magic, the regular sets are about four sets a year. Market-wise, Pokemon's insane right now. It's kind of crazy. It's weird. Similar, but I'd say they're similar, Fedsy. But here we go, starting off with foil commons. These look like the printer ran out of ink a bit. They're kind of faded. Laughing Leo says, hello. Hey, Leo. Midwest Wizard says, I'm the Lizard King. <laughs> Anthony is yelling, hit that like button, people, or Allie will melt. Tyler says, wait, it says two-edge foils. Isn't there three, actually? I mean, it said two. I haven't opened any collector boosters. So. Tighawk came back to YouTube. Welcome back. All right, here we go. We got our foil uncommons. Another uncommon. We have rare Sengir, the Dark Baron. Rejuvenating Springs. Look at that. Extended Art Foil, very nice. Humble Defector. All right, we're gonna need a lot more piles than normal, I think. All right. Um, common foil, uncommon foil. Rare foil. All right, Aurora Phoenix. Foil mythic, foil, foil rare, foil mythic. We can put our etched down there. Breaches and a Maelstrom Wanderer. Mythic there. All right. Averna, the Chaos Bloom. And our token. Tokens we don't need to see, so I'll just put them behind my fat head down here in the bottom right. All right, I think. Based on this first pack, my assumption of piles, I think should be okay. We'll see. We'll see. Take Hawk says, I hit four Charizard, two EX, one Mega EX, and Hollow from four Elite Trainer Boxes of Evolutions. Very nice. Pulls, Take Hawk. That missed the trash can completely. Jeez. I'm struggling this morning. It's a struggle. All right. Here we go. Pack number two. We have an extended art foil myriad landscape. More uncommons. 
Undergrowth Stadium. These are reminding me of the Throne of Eldraine collector boosters, where you have the general layout of where you're going to be finding your different cards, but it's not like as strict as the past several sets, which I'm not sure how I feel about it. I like it, but it's also like for the piling. So we'll see how this goes. We have Commander Sphere, Extended Art. That's nice. Nevin Rolls Disc, Rare, Extended Art. Armix, Etched. Silas, Ren, Etched. We've had two Mythic Foil Etched cards. We have a Krark, the Thumbless. Can you imagine not having thumbs? Feels bad. A Salamander Warrior and a Rock Token. Very cool. Buffalo Bill says the Aurora Phoenix tore its ACL. Its value has dropped dramatically. I heard uh, Clay Thompson tore his ankle or something. He's out for the season. Basketball news. He's like out. This is his second season out, right? And it was like not even like a real game. It was like a fun game and he got injured. That must, I don't know. That, that's that got to feel really bad as an athlete. Like that's your dream is just to play in the big league, so to speak. And you have several good years, and then you just get, get injury after injury after injury. That must be horrible. Feels like there's more foil uncommons in that pack than the others. Very nice. Here we have a foil opposition agent. This card, not foil, last week was $32. Ridiculous, ridiculous. We have a Boros Charm Extended Art Undergrowth Stadium. Nice to see these lands. Tuya Bearclaw. Queen Marchesa. I would like, someone suggested I should do a, Mar a Marchesa cosplay, and I was like, that sounds cool, except I don't know who would literally make this outfit. Hey, Nevenroll. That's cool. Urborg Tyrant. Tickhawk says Wonder Franco might be a rookie next year. Too bad we'd order 10 cases of Series 1, and we got cut to one case of uh, top Series 1 baseball. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. Welcome, T Dot. Hey, thank you, Laughing Leo. Appreciate it. Sorry, I don't notice all the, uh, the sometimes the little zombies over here. It depends on which way I'm looking. I apologize that I missed it, but I do appreciate that, Laughing Leo, very much. And also, if anyone, if I miss your notifications, I do apologize, but I appreciate each and every one of you. But. Oh, yeah, Foil Marble Diamond. Like I said, these commons and uncommons are reminding me of Theros collector boosters, where some of them just seem like the Wizards was like, yeah, 50% ink's good enough. We have Flamekin Herald. Foil Rare. Fleshbag Marauder. Sphinx of the Second Sun, Mythic. Tagox says he's going to be in Series 2. Oh, that's cute. Easier. Eureka. Wait. Didn't this used to be an uncommon? Whatever. Maybe it's a different Eureka card. But Eureka, the Tiger Shadow, and Queen. I don't know. I am liking... It's like annoying me that you get the different random spots for different cards. It's not in the same pattern. But I actually really am enjoying this, that they went back to the kind of Throne of Eldraine style of the way the, car, the cards are packed out in the pack. Because it makes it more exciting, you know? If you buy a collector booster, like the whole booster box, it's probably a bit more stressful because you're not... You're not seeing the same patterns of like X amount of this, X amount of that per box. But if you're just buying a pack, it's like really fun, I guess, just to test your luck one pack at a time. So that's cool. 570 Gaming says, good luck with your polls. Got to get the kids ready for cyber school. Have a great day. You as well, 570. Thank you for stopping by this morning. Dragon says, did they cut your orders to do that? Or that's how they treat you? That's how they treat us. It's been getting worse every year. Surprisingly enough... We got five boxes of Champions League Museum Collection. Or Chrome. I don't know. But we got, like, more than just one box of soccer. It's crazy. Moneymaker says, The good side on the Clay Thompson injury is that that new draft pick will have more gameplay. TikTok, we can sell everything we order. They just don't care. It doesn't matter to distributors. If we literally stopped ordering from them, it wouldn't affect them because they could just sell it to somebody else. It just doesn't change them. All right, Bradley says the other Eureka is from Dominaria and is uncommon. That, that must be it. Thank you. All right, next pack. Moss Diamond. We have Arcane Denial Foil. 
It's our first foil common extended art. And like I said, the preordained foils are like 21 bucks a piece. Bell Borka, Spectral Sergeant, Court of Cunning, Factor Fiction, Extended Art, Court of Ambition, Arden, Zur the Enchanter, and Gen Arcanum Weaver. Now I have noticed, I think all except for maybe one, no, it looks like actually every pack, you do get one of each rarity on the etched cards. Tyler Smith says, Arcane Denial is a hype pull, to be honest. I'm not familiar with any of the extended art prices because I haven't opened any of them. Hey, Sofrito, welcome. How many boxes of prison football are you getting? Tickhawk, they gave, we ordered 10 cases, they gave us five boxes. So we'll see how many we get total. Sometimes when other stores don't take their order, whether they closed or they just ran out of money, we get to pick up their boxes, but we'll see how it is. In Montreal, they're selling Hobby Box Series 1 at 150 American tax included. Ugh. Ugh. I already hear that, moneymaker. <laughs> it's literally cheaper to buy it from us with the additional $30 shipping to get all base. It's cheaper than that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Falthus. Shadow Cat Familiar. That's a cool looking cat there. All right, Aurora Phoenix Foil. Three visits, very nice. I know these regular uncommons are about five bucks a piece. At least that's what we've been selling them for. Probably can find them cheaper, but that's what we have them at. Dawn Glade Regent. Kangi Sky Warden. Marath Will of the Wild. Ooh, we got something different here. We have Jessica Thrice Reborn Foil. Extended or borderless, very cool. Fedsy says, there's one massive store here. They sell everything marked up. It's so stupid. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the problem is like when you have just one store in the area, it's like, where else are you going to go? Yeah, you can order from our website. We just have to charge extra for shipping because international priority is expensive. The option with no base, so like still get your inserts and autographs, hits, whatever. The option with no base is 15 uh, with all the base is 30. The thing is, is like stores do that, like even if it's like a chain, like I've heard of Walmarts being in like, you know, the boonies, just charging extra for stuff because the people that live in the surrounding areas can't go anywhere else, which is kind of scummy, but like it's Walmart, what do you expect? Supreme Will, it's a cool looking card from Amonkhet or Hour of Devastation, one of the two. Court of Ambition Foil. We haven't had any regular foil mythics yet. Opal Palace, that looks sick. Immaculate Magistrate, that looks sick. That's a rare. Galanra. Carador. And Yurlock. Very cool. Treasure token. Sam says, what the back the cards look like? The soldier card has a hollow design on the back. The tokens are double-sided, Sam. The regular cards are not. The regular have the regular magic back. But the tokens, the fancy thing about the collector booster tokens is they're double-sided foils. Yeah, so, yeah. When the when you get that one, you get two. So they, they don't want to run into the, like, yeah, most packs are going to have three. But in theory, you're only guaranteed two etched per pack, Tyler. That makes sense. Brian says, how are you? I'm, I'm doing better. Having fun opening these collector boosters. This morning has been a struggle, but sometimes you just gotta roll with it. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. Hey, I see 123 people watching over on YouTube. That's cool. Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. All right, we have Return to Dust Foil. Moti. We have Gen Arcanum Weaver. Dawn Glade Regent Soul Ring, that's cool. I would bet that in foil would be expensive. A Chroma's Will, Alharu, Brego, and Jared Carthalian, True Air. No Lotuses yet, Jason. We're still in the first box, going kind of slow this morning. Brandon asks, how much is the Mox Diamond worth at the moment? I have no idea. No, oh, I'm sorry to hear that dragon, but hopefully, Hopefully, you get that all sorted out. 
and you'll be smiling, bright and shiny teeth. You can get your packs next year. It's always better to be responsible. It stinks when you gotta miss out on some stuff, but is that uncommon already? Yes, that's uncommon. But hopefully, hopefully you'll be okay soon. Dragon, we have Sakashima as a protege foil. Preordain, non foil. Body of Knowledge. We have Jury, Master of the Revu. We have Najila and Kadama of the East Tree. Sam says, wow, that's so cool. MTG cards are fun to watch. I want to learn how to play soon. Maybe that'd be a good instruction video for your personal channel. That's a good idea, Sam. I mean, I'm not the world's greatest player, but I don't know. Maybe I could do something like that in the future. Are you going to do a group break for collector boxes like y'all did for VIP Masters? Pro uh, probably not, Brian, because I, I think we've probably, we've almost sold out already. With how many you've opened so far, you feel it was worth. I mean, we opened for the shop, so when you open in quantity for the shop, you're always going to make money, like 99.9% .9 of the time. I don't think we've ever lost money on a magic product. Um, sometimes you just got to keep going until you get there. So for us as a shop, it's worth it. I mean, I just love opening stuff because it's fun. I know we opened a total, with my case of draft boosters that I'll be opening up after the collector case, we've opened a total of 11 cases of draft boosters. Uh, not sure how many. Hey, look, we're starting to get uncommons that actually have enough ink on them with this Radiant Sarah Archangel. Not sure how many collector boxes we've opened, but I know draft bo draft boosters has been 11 cases. Raksha, Rakshasha Debaser, Foil. Hey, I remember this card for Modern Horizons. I was like, yo, boss man, let me get this foil because it was cute. And he's like, oof, that's like 12 bucks. I'm like, what? And he gave it to me for free anyways. That is so cute. I love that little elephant. I might try and grab one of those in extended art foil if I can. That's cute. Blasphemous Act. There's just so many cards in the set. I didn't realize Jenner's Grift was in here. Or Jenner's Gift. Slurk. Ludovic. And Hans Ericsson. Uh, Brandon, we're getting at least one Mythic guaranteed in the Etched. That's what I've seen. We've seen at least one, one Mythic in the Etched. Tyler says, Najila was a solid hit, probably around 40 bucks. Still that expensive? Well. Uh, Bubba, what was your question? I might have missed it. I don't remember what you had asked. AB Solutions says, hey, I just checked your YouTube video on the Basketball Panini Prism Rookies. No, you're not doing that right now, but maybe okay for me to ask what cards are the popular ones. Silver, pink, I want to get into collecting and investing basketball cards, but I'm very new, so I don't know where to look for this kind of stuff. Yeah, just as Fancy says, silver prisms, people really like the, uh, the silvers. Usually tried and true, like, good to just go with silvers. Other, like, very, like, you can have ones that are lower numbered, because silver prisms aren't numbered out of anything. You can have, like, low numbered cards that aren't as worth as much as silver prisms. That is like what people really, really like out of Panini. And then oh, it's always good to have low numbered cards. I mean, I'm not saying to not keep a low numbered card if you get one. But always you you want to forget you don't want to forget when you're doing cards like that. Always make sure you like the cards. So like let's say if you get stuck with it, like the investment goes south. If you still actually like what you have, even if the price goes down, you won't like necessarily regret it. But Always make sure to like what you're doing. That way you get some enjoyment if things go south. We have Viscera Seer. I put an uncommon in there. That is an uncommon. There's an uncommon in my common pile. Get out of there. All right. To your bear claw. Laboratory Drudge. Viscera Seer. Both in the same pack. Interesting. Court of Cunning. Casket. Karametra, God of Harvest. And a numerous Uno's Trickster. AB Solution says, probably going low budget for the investment to start with, so I kind of enjoy it more. Makes sense, makes sense. Pick up retail prison basketball if you ever find it. Just buy it. Tyler says, I was wildly wrong, only like $15, lol, but she seems like 40 Makes sense. It, it, it's weird, especially on like release, like right, release weekend prices are all over the place. All right. How much the foil extended preordains? Twenty-one dollars. I pulled a packing slip, and always on packing slips over twenty-five. I write the little note because we put them in the tracked envelopes. You know, thank you for shopping with us. Check us out YouTube.com for MTG openings, and I draw a whooper. And I saw I was like preordains, 
and they bought three of them and they were $21 a piece. So, if you're cracking an inner master case. Right now, the cases of collector boosters are still six. For call time, they're switching them to 12. So this is still technically a case, unless they changed it ahead of time. But collector booster cases have been six. But they're switching to 12. So six here. We're opening six here. Six, six sealed collector boosters. Six draft boosters as well. Hey, Doug. Oop, that one card almost went yeet. I believe this is our last pack of this first box here. We have Liesa, Shroud of Dusk, Armored Sky Hunter, Acidic Slime, Profane Transfusion. We've had two extended art mythics here. Brine Lynn, the Moon Kraken, Ishai, and Belby, Corrupted Observer. All right, so that's it for box number one. Wow, wow, says a master case is a case of cases. I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying, but the thing is, like, upper deck will do that where it's like inner case and then master case. Where an inner case is eight, but a master case is 16, so technically a case is 16, not the eight. But so that's why I was saying. All right, let me go ahead and straighten up these piles, then we'll get into the second box. All right, glad I could help AB Solution. Also, thank you to Fedsy for helping me help you out. And all right, Brandon says, I'm feeling a manager ain't coming. That would be nice. Are the etch cards like Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Rare from back in the day? Asked Dan. Not, not quite. They remind me of... What do they remind me of? They remind me kind of like sports card parallels. The ultimate rares had texture to them. The etched foils don't have texture. They just look like they have texture. But all right, here we go. Pack one, box two. Mask of Memory is our first uncommon here. We have Plague Reaver, Foil Rare, the Sarah Seer, Immaculate Magistrate. We have the Wolf, Ikra Shidiki, Mythic, the Usurper, and Nimrus once again. Token. Morning, James. I do play. I play usually just like sealed stuff. Not really constructed. And I play mostly online as well. We have Zat's Will, Acidic Slime, Dawn Glade Regent, Dargo, Tim Timna, or Timna, the Weaver, Elegeth, and another token. We have Fire Diamond Foil. We have Nevin Rawl, Urborg Tyrant. Keeper of the Accord. Thought Vessel. Nice. Chroma's Will. Siani, Eye of the Storm. Kaidel. And Belby. OB says, Ali, you should play Commander. I think you would enjoy it. I'm cheap, though. I'm cheap. We have Opal Palace Foil. 
Abomination of Lanoir. Sweet Gum Recluse, Path of Ancestry, Body of Knowledge, Raumi of the Dead Tide, Muldratha the Grave Tide. We actually have a Russian foil Muldratha from Dominaria. No one's bought it in like two years. We have Obeka Brute Chronologist. And thank you, Tyler, for looking up that price for me. I don't know what the prices are on stuff, uh, especially from Collector Boosters. Because I only started pulling through the orders today for collector boosters because we didn't get any last weekend because you don't get collector boosters for pre-release. You only get regular drafts. So I don't know what those prices are too much. Boss man lists mainly on like new release so he can set the prices. I'll list the restock. So he's the one who knows what prices are at the moment. I'm not sure too much on these. Are you the guys ones next to the donut stop? Yep, Reveration Owl, that's us. Thought Vessel Foil, nice. Your Lock of Scorched Thrash. Triumphant Reckoning, woo, we have our first regular foil mythic. Quambage Witches, Triumphant Reckoning. Two mythics, one pack. Miara, Thorn of the Glade, Nekusar. Arch Archelos, Lagoon Mystic. Here he is. Here's our turtle. Very cool. The box did say you can get up to five Mythic in a pack. We did We did get three here. I think that's the highest we've seen at the moment. Promise of Tomorrow, Coiling Oracle, Blasphemous Act, and Numa, Rayhan, Livio. I like all these cool names on these like commander legendary cards. I know the turtle's so cool. I'm using the turtle mat today. I know he's all covered up. I really like the turtle mat and I really also like the Sakashima mat. We've changed a lot, actually, Reveration. We've done some, like, renovations and stuff, especially recently. So it'd be nice if you'd just drop by and then check it out, even if you're not interested, just to check up on the place. We have Arcane Signet Foil, Coiling Oracle Foil, Brynlin, Emoti, Jessica's Will, Swords to Plowshares. Ooh. I would imagine this in the foil would be really expensive. Rings of Bright Hearth, very nice. I don't know if you guys have seen or played the game Slay the Spire, but I feel like this looks like it could be a card from Slay the Spire. Just the way it's drawn. Reminds me of that game. We have Lathiel. Anyone here play Slay the Spire? I'm only good at the robot. That's it. I can't play any of the other characters. I can only play the robot. Would you guys watch me stream Slay the Spine? <laughs> Would you guys watch that on like my personal channel or something? Hey, it rings a bright hearth foil. Arcane Denial. Court of Cunning. I go to the donut shop on Sundays and you guys aren't open. I understand why, but I'll try coming tomorrow. Very cool, Reveration Owl. Dan says, I have Allie, it's pretty cool. I like the robot. I call him Robit, because because I do. Thrasios. Blim. Oh, let me. Do I still have those napkins? I do. The Rogue is really tr tough. LOL. Trick with the Warriors doing armor gain. On Switch, I played it. It's on Switch. It's on Steam. I'm just good at the robot. I don't know. Because I tend to play defensively. So he just fits my play style, I think. Hey, Port Dog. My, fan my friend's really good at the Watcher. Like, insanely good at the Watcher. Michael says, I would watch Slay the Spire stream. Great game, lots of depth. Have you ever played Creature in the Well? It's really great. No, uh, actually all I've ever played on Steam is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Slay the Spire. We have Elegath Crossroads Augur, Training Center Foil, 
Myriad Landscape, Court of Ire, Prismatic Piper. That looks really cool. Maelstrom Wanderer, Kulfenor, The Last Ewe. Dances, so you got three best commanders now Thrasios, Ten, uh, Tynma, and Vile Smasher. Very cool. Faith's Fetters, Mole Drifter. Root Weaver Druid, Burnished Heart, Port Razor. Burnished Heart is in the wrong pile. He's an uncommon, not a common. Kittis. It's a cute lizard. Prosh and Sengir the Dark Baron. Dragonfire says, I think it'd be awesome if you stream gameplay on it. I just don't know when, like... I would have time in the week, though. Reveration Alice says, do you guys price things based on market price or retail like Pokemon booster boxes? Because I've been looking for a Sun and Moon bait set, but no card shops have them. Sun and Moon bait set's just, like, gone. Like, you won't find booster boxes, I don't think. Like, we've been out of stock for a long long time we already sold out of vivid voltage as well we might have like one box in the shop none of those yet doug unfortunately i mean we try to be as reasonable as possible obviously we're not going to price it at a point that you know people could just buy from us and then sell it on facebook for like twice the price but hey look at that foil three visits that's nice but we we do try to be under under ebay if it's anything crazy. We have Swiftfoot Boots. Back to back foil extended arts nice. Vault of Champions. Command Tower. Soul of Eternity. I have this playmat too, I haven't used it yet. Rebek, Architect of Ascension. Rabos and Nostro, Voice of the Crags. It's an interesting looking three headed creature there. Last pack of box number two. We have a whole breacher foil, very nice. Welcome back, Tig Hawk. Zat's Will, Felice, Crown, and Amareth. The Lustrous. That's a cute looking dragon. Mythic Foil Extended Arts are really tough to pull. Yeah, we haven't seen any out of two boxes already. Welcome back, Fancy. Alright, box number three. After this is done, we'll have our halfway point through the case. Thanks, Dragonfire. The problem is, is like, I have like one day off a week, technically. And then, um, I'm just so busy the other days. The other days are always foil, or others always full. We have victimized foil. Emberwild Captain, Opal Palace, Spectator Seating, Siani, Zur the Enchanter, and Goro Muldrak. Welcome, Aaron. Hey, welcome back, Zinho. Staff of Domination, Soul Ring, Nevernal's Disc, Marath, and Sengir. This is all, we're, we're a store empty red, so I'm opening for singles for the shop. I'm not cool enough to open cases for myself yet. There's some stuff coming out like uh, non-sport cards wise next year that I'm considering buying a case or two of just for me, but we'll see what the cost on that'll be when that comes out. 
But this is just for right now. This is for shop singles. Terramorphic Expanse Foil. Generous Gift Foil. I want this so much. Hopefully it's not too crazy expensive. Breaches. Hey, look at that. Foil Vampiric Tutor. Very cool. Only our second Foil Mythic with non-foil generous gift. This was a very generous pack, by the way. Undergrowth Stadium. Imagine you just yoloed one pack, and that's what you got. That'd be crazy. Carador and Zara. Scott says, first time visitor. Welcome, Scott. Thank you for joining us. Benjamin says, are you going big on the D&D &D MTG set? We go big on every set. I would think so. I don't see why we wouldn't. We have Fleshbag Marauder. Wheel of Misfortune. Preordain Foil. Court of Ambition. Numa. We're ripping a brand new Commander Legends Collector Booster Case, and then we'll be getting into a Draft Booster Case afterwards. An ad for a trading card website popped up while watching this live. Not sure why I don't have monetization on right now. Not sure why you'd get ads right now. Sorry, when I'm just straightening up these piles real quick. They're getting a bit messy. Hello, welcome, Enso. Um, as long as it's not anything weird, Fedsy, go ahead. Me, personally, I don't buy stuff magic-wise. I buy ma mainly non-sports. What's the best hit you pulled in one of your breaks, Scott? I think it has to be the triple SP from Series 2 Baseball. The uh, Luba, Bobachette, Jordan Alvarez SSP, or SSSP. That one is the most expensive card I've pulled. I gotta figure out what the top the top 10 pulls of the year are for the end of the year. Like, hey, look at that. We have a Foil Extender at Mythic. Triumphant Reckoning. That's not Jeweled Lotus. We have another Najila. Hey, look, we got back-to-back -back Mythics. Usually you get a rare here, but we got a Chroma. Interesting. But yeah, I have to figure out what the top 10 pulls of the year are. It's weird because prices on some stuff has probably like really changed. Like I remember when we pulled it, it was expensive, then it didn't sell and it went down. But now I'm sure it's probably worth more. But I did pull an on-card Patrick Mahomes autograph out of 10, uh, out of Panini 1 on the channel. Like really, really early on in the channel. Tickhawk, at one point that triple SP was, was $10,000. That's the thing. It's prices are. Mm. At one point, it was ten thousand dollars. Take hawk. That's the thing that's weird. We have your lock. Raksha, uh, Rakshasa. I don't know why that name keeps getting me. Captain Vargas Wrath, Ludovic, Liasa. That's weird that they do it during a stream, though, Dragon. Have a foil thought vessel, very nice. War room foil, thought vessel, non foil. A chroma's will. Karametra, Averna. Is it is the two of the best though? I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know if that would be the top. It's not, it's actually not, because the Tua from Flawless is what, two grand? We've pulled Star Wars cards worth more than that, that have sold higher than that, so. No Lotuses yet, Blossoms. It's 
Sakashima's Will, Path of Ancestry, Body of Knowledge, Kittis. That loser is probably my favorite. Any fun Marvel Flare pulls ever? Marvel Flare came out before the channel existed, Brooklyn. We did have really cool stuff when that came out, but we didn't open it on the channel because the channel didn't exist. I'm saying for sports. I don't know. I'd have to go through everything, Dayhawk. I don't know. We have Undergrowth Stadium Foil. Homage Witches. Triumphant Reckoning. Why are we getting so many Triumphant Reckonings? Premiere. Uh, we got a booklet Liddy Lee sketch of Sabretooth and Wolverine. That was probably the highlight. We opened up just an inner of that. That video is on the channel as well. Counterspell Foil. Cool. Kittis. We have a training center. Swords to plowshares. Blasphemous act. That's our third blasphemous act, I think. Queen. Or no, annual. That, that one's annual. Premiere also came out before the channel existed, Brooklyn. Sorry. For some reason, I thought you wrote annual. Which we also got cool stuff out of Premiere. The channel's only been here since January, though. Lots of really cool Marvel Masterpieces pulls on the channel. You can see actually a lot of them in the Community tab. Evernall's Disc. People keep asking me, Tagog. I literally don't know anything about Lafreniere. I don't know anything about him. We have Rings of Bright Hearth. Because for me, hockey, usually I just collect the players that I like. I don't really worry about like trying to find other people, like even if they're hot rookies or whatever. So I don't pay attention to them too much. I don't really know what's up with like prospects and people specking on people. I just know what boss man tells me, hey people, this guy's really hot. I'm like, alright, I'll look for that. I've heard of him, because when people are talking about draft and like he's obviously going to be number one, but like I don't know anything about him. We used to be able to get Japanese magic reveration, but uh, distributors in the U.S. don't carry magic in Japanese unless it's like the special like War of the Sparks stuff. They had it for a little bit, but we used to get like when we had Dominary, we had Dominary in English, Japanese, German, Russian. We might have had a French box. Had a lot of languages, just for fun. Because people like buying foreign packs, but can't get foreign packs anymore. We have Elvish Dreadlord. Myriad Landscape. Court of Cunning. I feel like we've seen this one a lot as well. Alright, so we've hit our halfway points of the case. Only one extended art foil mythic, Triumphant Reckoning. We also had a lot of Triumphant Reckonings. Had five regular extended art mythics. And two foil mythics, Vampiric Tutor and Triumphant Reckoning. And then one Planeswalker foil in the Jessica Thrice Reborn. I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to move our common and uncommon foils out of the way so I have some more space. Not that these piles are horrendously tall. But just because, why not? We don't need them. We're not going to go through them. And I'll straighten these piles up and then we'll get into box number four. How's that sound, everybody? It is. There's so many triumphant reckonings. I don't understand why. There's so many. So, so many. Oh, 
All right, box number four of our case. This is fun though, I'm having fun. Hope you all are having fun. Francois, this sounds great. Glad to hear it. If you guys are enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button if you have not yet already. Alright, Dragon, hopefully we can get through another box for you before you gotta head out. Alright, here we go. We have Obeka Brute Chronologist. Commander's Plate Foil Extended Art. That's nice. Generous Gift. Wrong turn. Najila number three. Ooh, look at that. We got Foil Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, Foil Mythic. Queen, and Immaculate Magistrate Foil. Yeah, so this, this box has been really nice. Again, Arcanum Weaver. Napoleon says, great channel. Greetings from Brazil. Greetings. Thank you very much for watching. Glad you're enjoying it. That braid foil. Ooh. Jessica's Will. Vicera Seer. Sweet Gum Recluse. Karametra. And Yurlock. Fed Sisters Magic is very nice art, especially the packs themselves are nice. I agree with that. Just notice the collector booster packs are actually shiny on the inside this time. I mean, they're always, sh they always have that like color to them, but I don't think I've seen rainbow inside packs before on collector boosters, unless I'm just dumb. I don't know. Have you guys noticed that before? Or is that a me problem? We have Seraphic Great Sword. Man, this box, this box. We've had two Foil Mythics, Extended Art Foil Mythic as well. This has been a nutty box. Look at that. Sakashima etched. I'm going to give him his own pile. That's cool. Welcome, Dragon Scopes. Welcome, Felipe. We've had two foil Sakashimas in this box. Foil Commander's Play Extended Art. It's nuts. We have Averna, Foil, Command Beacon, Foil. That is nice as well. Path Ancestry, Court of Bounty. Kodama's Reach. Abomination of Lanawar. We have a Nightshade Harvester. Sword to Plowshares. Staff of Domination. Tana. And Jared. Dragon Scope says, Me and my friend are really into magic and I want to start watching it, but everyone here are just doing the online version. Yeah, I think it'd be hard to like record paper magic. I think it'd be kind of hard to do that. Usually it's easier to see online magic, but... I can understand wanting to watch regular magic. Ferg's on fire says, did the 7 a.m. target run to grab a couple packs? Legends is nutty. Hola, Rainier. And hello, Felipe. I know, but I'm saying, like, in 2020, Moon Dancer. It'd be kind of difficult, I would think, to get that kind of content. Spectator CD. Coiling Oracle, Hull Breacher Extended Art, nice. Kiri and Hans Ericsson. 
full of anything good yet, asks Mr. Elephant Farts. Um, we've had a foil, a regular foil, Vampiric Tutor, regular foil Sakashima, Edge foil Sakashima, Extended Art, Foils, Mythics, Triumphant Reckoning, Commander's Plate. We've had a whole Breacher, Extended Art, Foil Rare. We've had a regular foil Opposition Agent. Um, really nice stuff in the common slot, that Counterspell Foil, Arcade Denial. Had Swiftfoot Boots, Thought Vessel in the in the Uncommons. So some really nice stuff. No Lotuses yet. No Mana Drains either. But some really nice cards here. We have Flamekin Herald, Foil. Myriad Landscape, Root Weaver Druid. Miara. Siddhar Kondo and Nimrus. Boros Charm, Foil, nice. Keeper of the Accord, Burnished Heart. Soulfire Eruption, Extended Art Mythic. Pretty hard to find people who play Legacy uh, Moon Dancer. What kind of deck do you play? Hans Ericsson, Blasphemous Act Foil, Arcane Denial, Blade Griff Prototype. We have a Timna, very nice. It's our second Timna, I believe. Belby. Really like Sakashima, but I'm put put him back in the uh, regular. Welcome, base Sato. We have Aurora Phoenix. Command Beacon. Everything but Power Nine, basically. Moon Dancer plays lands. Very cool. How many tabernacles do you own, Moon Dancer? I'm curious. I held a tabernacle once when it was only twelve hundred bucks. I was too scared to like do anything with it. I just I just held it like this. But alrighty, next well not next pack, but our last pack here. I've already started opening. Can't say next pack, but I'm already opening it. Path of Ancestry Foil. Sakashima's protege. We have Command Tower, Flamekin Herald, Prismatic Piper Etched, our second Muldratha of the case, and our second Turtle of the case. That is cool. So box number four down, still, still waiting on Lotus or Mana Drain. Moon Dancer says, I have one Italian Tabernacle. I would love a second. Very cool, very cool. And one drop of honey. Ooh, very nice. Hey Shannon. Uh, the foil extended our jewel lotus is insane, Fedsy. But there's a lot of nice cards in Commander Legends in general. Alright, pack number one, box number five. Hey Cocatoo, good morning. You know what I just realized? I realized I didn't have any of this stuff open for you guys. This stuff should be up here. My apologies. I could have sworn we had little notifications running, but I guess not. That explains why I haven't seen any. Makes sense. I wasn't prepared for your stream today. That's why everything's all messed up. My apologies that we're missing... We were missing that. AB Solution followed 32 minutes ago. I apologize for missing AB Solution. Look at that. Preordained foil. Welcome, Coco, to you. We have Livio, Osworn Sentinel, Kamal's Will, Mole Drifter, Rakshasha, Nekusar, and Livio again. 
John says, hello, am I going to get hooked on watching again, LOL. Dan says, like, 350 or 400 right now for that card. I'm not sure what it is. But I'd love to find one. Oh, look at that foil arcane signet. Extended art. Phyrexian Triniform. Foil Mythic. Teamer Battle Rage. Plague Reaver. Rebic. Derevi. And Lathiel. That's cool. A monarch token on the back. Look at that. Our first foil swords to plowshares. Very nice. Very, very nice. Coiling Oracle. Rejuvenating Springs. Victimize. Mnemonic Deluge. It's a cool art. Felice, Prosh, and Blim. AKA the cool, or Akut. This is bought my first TCG box because of your show. Loved every second of it. Thanks to the inspiration. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. What kind of box did you get? What kind of box? I'm curious. Moon Dancer says, I pulled the black, white, red Commander Angel and Full Art out of the Masters pack. My wife got me. Not too familiar with the Commander cards. Um... I can picture what card you're talking about. It's a mythic. Kalia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Kokotia said, Kalia. Kalia of the Vast. Doug, not if they don't... I mean, they might drop a little bit, but if they're as hard to find as we're discovering here, uh, I don't know that there's too many of them out there. Just like the Force of Will price went up, that foil extender at Force of Will went up a lot from what it started at, so... Who knows? We have Kamal's Will, a braid, Promise of Tomorrow, this is Final Fantasy Opus 11, big Final Fantasy fan, don't tell the wife, but both boys are named after Final Fantasy characters. Oh cool, what names, what names, I'm curious. As long as I don't get you in trouble, lower your volume. <laughs> We have a braid foil. That's our second a braid. Plague Reaver. We have Counterspell. Nightshade Harvester. All right, these piles are getting a little, little wild here again. Barrett and Ace. Nice. Cocotius is Thrasios is a hit. I think that's our second Thrasios. I'm just kind of piling them all up in the same pile. Obviously, I'd sleeve the lotuses, but uh, I, I I know some people get on my case with magic stuff and like Pokemon's. Like, I don't sleeve much. I try to sleeve during the streams for people, just because some people get stressed out about their cards not being sleeved right away. But I don't sleeve much, magic wise. They eventually get sleeved after they're listed, obviously, but. Initially, when I pull them, they usually just go in the piles, unless it's something insane, insane. It, it was funny, like a day last week, someone was complaining, I take too much time to sleeve, I'm horrible, blah, 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 blah. And then the next day, someone was yelling at me because I don't sleeve enough. And I was like, you people need to make up your minds. Whatever. No, they don't have any texture to them, oddly enough, Coca you. They look like they have texture, but they're just, they're flat like any other mythic. We have Blim, Comedic Genius. Hellkite Courser, Extended Art Mythic. That's our third of the case. Reliquary Tower. Keeper of the Accord. Ravos and Nostro. Why is this one chair foot not like me anymore? This one chair foot doesn't want to roll. 
Thomas says, we do appreciate the work that you do for us with this channel. Thank you, Thomas. And Jacob says, are you asking the chat to be reasonable? Surely you just. Pretty much, pretty much. Moondancer BB says, do you use a dot cam? And if so, what kind? Thinking about streaming miniature painting and looking for recommendation. Uh, do you mean like, I'm not, I'm not too sure with um, terminology. Right now I just have a camera mounted. It's the same type of camera I use for the phase cam. They are two Sony A or Alpha 6400s. I have an arc scan desk mount that unfortunately the table's a little bit too thick so it can't clip to the table, but I have it clipped to the ring light. So that's how it's mounted. Alrighty. Blessed RNG says, any logic behind the piles, how you're sorting them as you're going there? Uh, I'm putting the regular, I'm putting them by the different types. So like common foils, uncommon foils, non-foil extended art commons, the foil common extended arts, and so on and so forth. Tech Nerd just subscribed. Thank you, Tech Nerd. Opal Palace foil. Wrong turn. Kadama's reach. Austere command. Zedru and Amareth. Kenny okay, says, it's your show, Allie. You do you. We have a three visits foil, nice. Last I checked, it was about ten dollars. We have Court of Ire, Swiftfoot Boots, Hellkite Corsair, Extended Art Mythic, Rakdos, Lord of Riots, Ali. Can you put that raw rack aside for me? There it is. Sure thing, Enzo. Just send us a message. I was like, where did it go? Because the, the chat delay on YouTube is usually about 15 seconds. We have Nostro, Voice of the Crags, Court of Grace. Why did I put that in the token pile? That makes no sense. Terramorphic Expanse, Protégé, and our Etched Foils. Again, it seems like whenever you get a Chroma, you're in a pack with two Mythics. Interesting. Shannon says, really like the artwork in the set. The Extended Art Swords Plowshares looks great. It does. I do agree with you there. We have Sakashima's Will. Foil. Return to Dust, Magus of the Order, Ramos Dragon Engine, that's the first one we've seen of him, Zara, we have three visits, foil, extended art, very nice. Magus of the Order, Arcane Signet, Elvis Dreadlord, so our last pack here of box number five. Hellkite Courser Foil. This seems to be the Hellkite Courser and Triumphant Reckoning box case. Case, I mean, not box, case. We've had one in each different mythic style here. It's ridiculous. Finhorn Elves. That's like Llanowar Elf, but just not. Interesting. Spectator Seating. Xenagos and Liesa. Very cool, very cool. All right, so we're going to get into our last, 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 last collector box here of the day. 
Then we'll get into our case of draft boosters. Just straightening stuff up a little bit. All right, last of the case, can we get a Lotus? Please give us a Lotus. I'd like to see a Mana Drain as well. Have not seen a Mana Drain. All right, here we go, pack number one. Swiftfoot Boots Foil. Keeper of the Accord, Acidic Slime, Jessica's Will. Najila number three or four. Dragonfire says, I think I'll leave off here and watch the last box after I get back. Hope you get a Lotus. Thank you, Dragon. Hans Ericsson, Austere Command Foil, Lucera Seer, Zat's Will, Sengir, T6 Beats says, me and the missus like watching your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome, Paul. Uh, I like the little lizard, Cocotillo, because he's cute. I don't know what it does, but I just like that art a lot. We have Plague Reaver, the little red one. He's an uncommon. Thought Vessel. Wheel of Misfortune, Karametra, uh, yeah, we, we do order WWE, we've started ordering, we did get completely shut out on Chrome, I do have for some reason a really popular WWE video on the channel of the set prior. I'm blanking on what the name of it is, but we do have WWE and we have some on order in the future for future releases as well, Henry. If we buy a box, though, through you, does it indicate when you'd open it after buying? I wouldn't want to miss it. It doesn't. If you order for a live break, it will be done on Saturday. So you just got to hang out during the stream. Uh, if you order for a recorded break, it'd be done on Monday, like a recorded video. So it'd be up on Monday. And then with recorded personal breaks, I do send you guys the link when the video's up. So that way you guys can see it. But... Bossman's not here yet, Dan. It's just me. It's just me cracking stuff. We have Kadama's Reach. Alharu. Magus of the Order. Path of Ancestry. Wrong pile. Training Center. Ishai. And Belborka. Doug says, Allie, I've been meaning to say this for a while. Your pile management is the best I've seen of any YouTuber. Most people lose it after two to three packs, it seems. I try my best. Thank you. <laughs> when are you going to open a Pokemon Booster Box base set? Uh, if I win the lottery, sure. And by the lottery, I mean like Mega Millions, not like a $5 scratch off. We have Blim, Comedic Genius, Soul of Eternity, Foil, Swords to Plowshares, Horizon Stone. That's cool. Haven't seen that one yet. Shannon says, Alley Feast of Succession art is also very cool. It is. That one is super cool. You be opening any baseball cards anytime soon. Atticus, you make it sound like I don't open baseball all the time. But we do have... I would think more baseball next week. Nothing scheduled for this weekend just quite yet, but, but I mean, there still could be baseball orders for tomorrow. We have Aurora Phoenix, Coiling Oracle, Vault of Champions, Emoti, Seems around 12, so set it aside later if you don't mind. I mean, all this stuff will be listed on our, our TCG player store, you guys, so 
Might be easier for you guys to order it there, but I mean, I can go back and set it aside. There it is. Just make sure to message us. So we, we've had people have us hold stuff and then not message, so just make sure, don't forget the message. But all right, here we go. Last pack, I think, on the left side of the box here. We have a foil reliquary tower, that's nice. Oh, profane, profane Transfusion. Cool looking card. Myriad Landscape, Necrotic Hex. Ikra and Nevernal. Undergrowth Stadium, Burnished Heart. Last box, okay. All right, not foil, but we'll take it. Let's leave that. Set that off to the side for now. I think that's our third Timna. Had like three Timnas, four Karamatras, Lotus. We have Jessica Thrice Reborn, Mythic Foil, Amphin Mutineer, Arcane Denial, Armored Sky Hunter, Kaidel, and Queen. What if we could get a foil and a non foil in the same box? What do you guys think? I think probably not, but doesn't mean we can't hope for it. We have a Burnished Heart Foil, Sakashima's Protégé, Quambage Witches, Bio Waste Blob, uh, Upside... What? No, it's no problem, Dan. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying we might already have one listed. I don't even know. Um... What? <laughs> what even is this? I know, I, you don't want, I know, that's what I was saying, Moon Dancer. I'm like, this is, I wonder, Bounty Hunter, you joke, but it might even be worth more, Brooklyn. I don't know. That is, um, it does, it does, it does. It has the regular back and it has a foil. Because it, it's it's not it's this is not supposed to exist. This is not supposed to exist. Almost this is almost see it to believe it material. This actually you know what I'm actually I'm not gonna put in a one touch. I just want to set it off to the side. But um no, I'm not discarding it. The, the discard card is not getting discarded. Well that's ridiculous. It has a stamp too. I don't know, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Usually with stuff like this, you just put it on the misprint thing in the misprint group and you just field offers. I know this is crazy. I don't even know what to, you know, what? I'm going to just, I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink some more coffee. That's what I'm going to do. Brooklyn says a non-stamped one sell for 30 to 40, I think. Stamp discard is more now. I think there's only been one sold recently. Interesting. Connor Dalton says hello. Hello there. It took up... Uh, it did... I think it take... I think it took, uh... 
I think it took the spot. I think it took our mythic. Because we had a rare behind it, I think, though. It, it was one of these spots. One of these spots. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll get the replay. I'll make a see it to believe it. Why not? Hold on. That will come out later today, then. But yeah, that is crazy. Empty Red says, I bet Watsy will give you a reimbursement pack, too. They'd probably be like, oh, give that back to us. We'll give you a pack. I'm like, no. No. That's cool. That's cool, though. Never seen something like this. Discard. You guys can see the camera in the background. I do like that as the stamp. That is cool. That is cool. Betsy asks, are they like hundreds of dollars? Maybe. I don't know. But I think we should keep going. I mean, we could still have... Dan says it was the mythic. That's what I thought. I think it was I think it was the spot here for the etched mythic. We still got two packs left, though. We still could hit a floral lotus. Why not just keep going here? Yeah, this is this is exciting. This is pretty exciting. Doug says, now know what my favorite card is? Discard. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, look at that. Second foil opposition agent. Very nice. Command tower. Alright, we have an extended art opposition agent. Yeah, any more discards in here? No, just a third Moldrafa. Last pack here. False is probably worth more than the Lotus. It probably is worth more than the Lotus. Probably is. Dante says you can always trade discard for dat card. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just excited to pull something cool. Like, we didn't get a foil lotus, but in the box with the non-foil lotus, we got discard. Let's see what we will have here. We have Rejuvenating Springs. Mole Drifter. Slash the Ranks. Nekusar. And another Sakashima. Very cool. Very cool. So a lot of cool packs in this case. Some boxes were definitely much nicer than others. Hey, Windy City, you changed your profile picture, I see. Like, that one box that had three Sakashimas in it was uh, definitely interesting. But yeah, we've had, uh, we've had some really nice boxes here. Some really weird boxes. Really cool and weird box here with this last box. With the discard and the non-foil lotus. But I'm going to go ahead and straighten up these piles. And I'll do a quick recap. Then we do have our case of draft boosters. If you guys want to stick around for that. Be doing a case. And it should be our, I think, 12th case. We're opening four singles for the shop. So if you're local to the Tampa Bay area, we do have a physical card shop. And of course, with it being release date Friday, you can come pick up singles in store. We have packs. We have boxes. Fun fact, if you're local to Tampa, Serenity is closing, and we still have better prices than a store going out of business. What do you think about that? Moondancer says, I'm out. Fun box opening. Thank you very much, Moondancer. But all right. I think I've straightened up. No, I haven't straightened up enough. I want to straighten up some more. Moondancer has followed. Thank you, Moondancer BB. But all right. Let's do our recap here. In one case of Collector Boosters, we had a Jessica Thrice Reborn foil. We also had these regular foil mythics. We had Triumphant Reckoning, Vampiric Tutor, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, Seraphic Great Sword, Phyrexian Triniform, Hellkite Corsair, Profane Transfusion, and a Jeska regular. Zin Zinho says, I think Titan is awesome. Thank you. Fedsy says, next time I visit Florida, I'll come by. Very cool. Thank you, Fedsy. That's awesome. I'm not going to go over our foil rares because there's so many. But for our foil extended art mythics, in a case, we did get three. So I think whoever was saying that they saw the averages was 0.5 per box. That's what we saw here out of six boxes. We got three. First couple boxes didn't have any, so it was a bit scary. But we did get Triumphant Reckoning, Commander's Plate, and Hellkite Courser. For our non... Look at that. There's a print dot. Woo! Misprints. But um, for our non-foil extended arts, we did get one Lotus... 
then I'll just pan through these because it is a decent pile. Halakite Courser, M M Mnemonic, Deluge, Soulfire Eruption, Port Razor, Triumphant Reckoning, Gems 2, Profane Transfusion, and Sphinx of the Second Sun. Foil Extended Art Rares. Austere Command is nice. Blasphemous Act. Command Beacon, Training Center, Undergrowth Stadium, Vault of Champions. Did we get all the lands? Rejuvenating Springs. I think we're missing... We're missing the stadium. We're one off from getting all the lands in one case. For our non-foils, definitely a lot nice in here. I think we had two opposition agents. Lots of the different lands. Spectator seating. Austere Command. Command Beacon. Staff of Domination. We also had, I think, a couple of the, the Blue Flash rare. That might have been in the foils, though. Rings of Bright Hurt. Immaculate Magistrate times two, I believe. Yep, two there. Never Null's disc. Bubba says, I don't see how anything in the draft case will be as interesting as discard. Hey, I mean, I gotta, I gotta open it up. Right, for our, extent, our extended art foil uncommons, Reliquary Towers, nice. Three visits is very nice. Swords to Plowshares. We got a lot of non-foils, just the one foil. Thought Vessel, I want this. I hope it's not too expensive. I just like the elephant. But yeah, we got two three visits, which is very nice. Just one swords, but two three visits. And for our foil, extended our commons, I'll show those off as well. Did have a counter spell. An arcane denial, two Kadama's reaches. No mana drain, unfortunately, but perhaps we'll see one in our draft case. I'm gonna go ahead and unsnap here. Clean this off, then I'll get into the draft case right behind me. I didn't need to make some space here. So you guys want to go grab some water, go to the restroom real quick. I'll be back shortly. But yeah, very cool first case here. Very nice live stream. I'm glad I got to share that with you guys live. And yeah, I'll just keep these off to the side for people to drop by and be like, what cool happened? Be like, discard. This card was pretty cool. But all right, let me get started on moving this on out of the way. And I'll be back shortly, everybody. Don't go too far. Fedsy with the Pikachu. Thank you for that Pikachu. Very cute. Doug says Opal Palace. People are buying Contenders Draft Picks football. Why they reprint? Why didn't they reprint the signets? Good question, Marcel. They got the diamonds though. All right, Bossman might be here pulling boxes. I don't know. But all right, I will be back. Shortly, just got to clear off the table. Probably take a couple trips as you guys can see the status down here, bottom right. Then I'll be back. Gender Script Full Art Foils, like $7. Heck yeah. You know what that means? It means it's going in my, my pile. It's going in my pile. But all right. Bounty Hunter says, I guess I must have impeccable timing missed as I missed everything but the discard. You were here for the highlight. That's cool. Anyways, be right back. Couple trips. Now, if you post the video of you opening the discard on M MTG Major Misprints Facebook, tons will start offering monies. Well, I gotta get through the draft case first. And then and then I can make the See It to Believe It episode, and I'll probably have Boss Man share it. I don't want people knowing my personal Facebook. That's a very good idea, Brooklyn. It's a very good idea. It's also a very good idea to take multiple trips, because I don't want to drop anything. Oh, and I have more commons and uncommons there. All right, all right, all right. Be right back. Hello, Raphael. My tokens.
Alrighty. We're about to get into a case of draft boosters. TV Kun 2 is now following. Thank you, TV Kun. Like a case of draft boosters, just tw uh, six boxes in here. I believe they are 20 pack boxes now. They're a bit, the packs are bigger, but there's less packs per draft booster for this release. So that's an interesting decision. Even though the boxes are the same size, don't let it fool you. There are less packs per box. But hopefully we can find our first mana drain. Scroll rack. I haven't seen, I haven't pulled a scroll rack. I've seen them. Haven't seen a mana drain though. So I don't know if we just haven't gotten any or perhaps boss man didn't think they were appropriately priced and haven't listed them yet. But yeah, so some exciting cards still to be found here. Hopefully we can see more lotuses. That'd be nice. Let's go ahead and... Nah. I didn't snap. I was going to say snap, but then I didn't say it or do it. So let's snap ourselves into the corner. Cupio is now following. But I'll... Oh, all right, here we go. Let's get started. Opening on the turtle mat still. You guys like them ASMR box noises? All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and take all these boxes out. Put them behind me. Why not? Jason says, if they're first print run like the Belgium ones, the packs are super hard to open. I did notice the packs were a bit weird in the box opening I did last week, because I did do a box last Saturday for pre-release, but I don't remember if they were, like, difficult to open. I thought they just were a little weird. They felt like Japanese packs, but weren't oriented like Japanese print packs, so we'll see. But all right, here we go. Let's get into our first draft booster. Still see we got 141 viewers on YouTube. Oh, it dropped to 137. Still see we have 137 viewers on YouTube. I hope you all are having a wonderful time. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. There's your little info sheet about Command the Draft, Commander Legends, Draft Archetypes and whatnot. Let me go ahead and move that out of the way. Don't need that. Here we go, 20 card draft boosters. All right, so these are set better than the box I opened last week. Interesting. Here we go. Pack number one. Sunblast is high from Montreal. Bonjour, Sunblast. Got preordained common here. Blade Griff prototype. Palace Sentinel's foil, and our token. Yeah, so the box I opened last week was the Belgian box, because there was more space. This one doesn't look like it has more space in it than before. But alrighty. This draft case, I would think, should go faster, even though there's more packs to open, just because um, we're really not looking through the commons or uncommons right now. Just looking for mythics and whatnot. We have Revenant. I guess I could put the Piper in his own pile. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate the compliment. I really have no idea, Tyler. Irigon is now falling. Thank you, Irigon. Maybe something is it colored because I love the logo. I even named my baby Tegu. I named her Niv Mizzet. So probably something is it colored. If I were to play Commander. We have Mnemonic Deluge. Two Mythics already, three packs in. Murder Foil. The boxes cost the same as regular sets. They're a bit more expensive, Marcel. Boxes are usually uh, between 95 to 105, depending on how popular the set is. Uh, we have these boxes at 130. I think in store, they're 120 or so, just because online, these are heavy. They cost a lot to ship. We might be, we're, I think we're somewhere between 120 and 125 on boxes. So, they're a little bit more. But like I said, you do get more cards per pack and whatnot. We have Austere Command. Jared Carthalian, True Error. Vault of Champions, Foil Rare. Nice foil there.
We have Vampiric Tutor. Very nice. Ivy Lane Denizen. Do you have football breaks on eBay or your own personal channel? On the channel, Adam. Lots of football on the channel. We have Armored Sky Hunter and Quain. Wild Size Foil. I haven't been able to check those out, Gord. Not yet. I haven't checked them out yet. Elvis Dreadlord, Nostro, Anara, and a Piper. We have Necrotic Hex, and Filigree Familiar. Yeah, we've been almost here for two hours, Fedsy. We have Emberwild Captain, Gormoldrak, we have a Quark Etched Foil. Hi, Aaron. Welcome. We have Sakashima's Protégé, Sisei's Ring, Magus of the Order. We have Jessica Thrice Reborn. Whoa! I've never actually done this. Or I've seen that happen. Steven bought a Titan Cards mug. I have like three kind of merch things on the, the, the Twitch store or whatever it is. But no one's ever bought it. I forgot they existed. There's like a, a t-shirt See, I've never actually held it in person. It's one of those things where, like, you order it, and then, like, Twitch takes care of it, and they send it off. I think there's a mug and, like, a t-shirt or something. Maybe, like, two different kind of t-shirts. That is very cool. Thank you very much, Steven. But, yeah, I just put... Everything has to be white, because for some reason, even in the vector file for the logo, the background is white. I don't know why. So that's why I can only put it on white stuff, so all the t-shirts are white and whatnot. But yeah, very cool. Thank you very much, Steven. I forgot. I literally forgot those existed. Yeah, M Mr. Understand. I got in at, I got in to work at six and I was recording and the computer decided it wanted to corrupt the file and freeze and restart and all this crazy stuff. So I'm like, I'm not going to be recording all this stuff and then lose all the footage again. So I figured to just stream it. Sakashima's will. Because at least if the computer crashes, literally right now, YouTube would have all the footage, and it'd be fine. And then I could just start over with wherever we left off. So that's why we're streaming here on this early Friday morning. We have Rakshasa Debaser. Interpret the signs. A treasure token. We have Nevernall's Disc, Nevernall Uberg Tyrant, and Nimrus Unus Trickster. Hey, look at that. Three rares in one pack.
Yay, Tighawks for lunch. We have Wrong Turn and Obeka, Brute Chronologist, Thorn of the Black Rose Foil. We have Court of Ambition. We have Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty. Foil etch. Will there be a lot of Commander Legends tomorrow? Yeah, there's going to be a decent amount tomorrow, Zinho. There's a lot of hockey as well. Draft box seems pretty cool. This is just the first one here, Dan. But it seems pretty nice. Promise of Tomorrow, and a Moss Diamond Foil, we have Course of Recruiter, and Hans Erickson. We have another Piper. Yeah, the foil in every pack is nice, Dan. Reminds me of like a master set. Which I know originally this was kind of leaked as like Commander Masters, but it's... I mean, it does have some reprints in it, but it has a lot of new stuff. Immaculate Magistrate. Kadama of the East Tree. Tigox says, Allie, I want to see you pull an Alexis numbered clear cut or French parallel. That would be nice. That would be really nice. We have Courts of Cunning. Raise the alarm. Chroma's Will, Charcoal Diamond, just a couple pot and packs remain in this first box here. Tighawk says, in my hobby box, I got Nathan McKinnon French Parallel, which is cool. That is pretty cool, Tighawk. Nice, nice. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that the French Parallels seem to be decently priced. Because I feel like with hockey sometimes, even though the cards are cool and they'll be like pretty rare, sometimes they'll be super cheap. So you think you hit something great, Crark. And Singier, another three rare pack here. Magus of the Order, technically a four rare pack. So you think you hit something great, and then you look it up, and someone on eBay is selling it for like $10. You know, for like an SSP. Sometimes. Like super rare inserts and whatnot. Like Bossman had originally priced that Fanimation insert of Aaron Ekblad at $35. I'm like, bruh, this is an unannounced SP insert. Why are you like this? So I didn't price it that low. But I'm pleasantly surprised. It seems that the French parallels are selling healthily for $10 a piece. Which being a, just a, a one per box parallel, and I'm assuming top tier players would be more expensive. It's pretty decent in my opinion. You have Nightshade Harvester, Zara, Renegade Recruiter, and Flood of Recollection. That's like one thing I really appreciate when we open up Marvel on the channel, is like Marvel collectors respect the value of inserts <laughs> like if it's a rare insert like you ain't paying 99 cents for it which i appreciate that it's like it's annoying because it's like man if i want to collect this stuff this would be expensive but also when you open a box you aren't going to get hosed you don't feel bad about like if you're busting cases we have soul fire eruption brine lynn and codex shredder oh and a piper sneaked out in the back all right so that'll do it for box number one here Josh says, what's the most expensive pull? Are you talking about out of hockey or out of here, Josh? I did get four mythic, five mythics in this box here. Hellkite Courser, Mnemonic Deluge, Vampiric Tutor, Soulfire Eruption, in that full art, Jessica. We 
But alrighty. No, I think I will keep all the piles except for the common pile. Did get two foil rares, Magus of the Order, and Vault of Champions in that one box. I could probably move the uncommons as well. Let me just put those behind me. And then, get started on box number two. And like I anticipated, these boxes are going quicker than the collector boosters. Uh, just because there's not as much to see, if that makes sense. There's more cards, but there's not as much to see. You know, you're going to the back, you're looking, because I'm not pulling out uncommons and whatnot. I mean, yes, three visits you should pull out. That's not bulk. There's other uncommons that aren't bulk, but for our purposes, we're good. Now you can buy laugh rookies for like 50, 100 bucks, which is so low. I hate this one foot here. This one foot is being mean to me. I'm going to just turn the chair. I rotated the chair, so now that foot's in the back. All right, there we go. That is pretty cheap. I don't understand why they tank so hard. They'll go back up, though. They'll go back up. I remember Kiel McCarr rookies got the 40 bucks at one point. I highly doubt they're 40 bucks right now. All right, box number two, draft booster case. In case you all are just joining us, why is YouTube spinning? YouTube, why are you spinning? The discard discarded the stream. Yeah, that's super lag going on right now. My apologies. The YouTube delay is about uh, the YouTube delay is about fifteen seconds. So you guys are probably suffering for like fifteen seconds. Papa Rican says that discard card isn't even on eBay. Well, they were supposed to be gotten rid of. These aren't supposed to exist. Discard discarded the stream. I know, Steven, it's lag, and I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. You know what the cool thing is about McDonald's iced coffees or whatever? It's like when it all melts, and you know, the whipped cream isn't like real whipped cream, so when the whipped cream melts, it tastes good. Fedsy's sending offers on the discard. I mean, we'll be accepting offers. I'll have to talk to boss man. Oh, Twitch isn't smooth right now either. All right, so it's just our internet. I don't know. The picture looks like it's okay right now. I still have the little yellow bar. But it's good now. Yeah, so it must be the internet. Sometimes uh, YouTube is weird. Clan Bez says the discard is sold on eBay. I'm just reading comments. I haven't been able to look. Fedsy, you're always welcome to send us a message on our website. Boss Man will probably be the one that takes care of this. So I, I don't. I have never dealt with an MTG reprint. That's why I'm so excited to have just pulled it. Even if it turns out it's not worth much. I've never pulled something like this, so that's really cool. I know, Steven, I'm, I'm just bloviating about, about discard. YouTube's still giving me an error, but whatever. We'll keep going, and I'll stop. All right, now it's green. We're good to go. I like to wait for YouTube to stop yelling at me. As YouTube lets me know when the connection's all good. Aaron, that's not the right set. We have pulled a lot of Godzillas, though, but from Ikoria. All right, here we go. Box number two, pack number uno. Numero uno. We have Coercive Recruiter, open the Armory Foil, the Token, we have Soul of Eternity, Avon Surveyor, Astro Smasher is now falling. Thank you, Astro Smasher. But Coco Tiu, does it touched by Alley from Titan pulled live on stream make it worth more than a regular discard? 
Dante says, discards have sold for between 10 and about 70 bucks on eBay. Some of them have really bad centering. But do they have a stamp, though? Some of them apparently don't have the stamps. We have a Chroma's Will. And Fall from Favor. Thank you, Hoodwink. That's fine, Wellsy. I mean, we open up just about everything here, so sometimes I'll open up TCGs, sometimes non-sports, sometimes sports. As long as you're having a good time and you're still enjoying watching packs being opened, which I, I hope you are, then that, that's all, all good, right? All good. We have a Root Weaver Druid and Charcoal Diamond Foil. Vandalay 98 is now falling. Thank you, Vandalay. It was funny. Is I was I'm so butthurt that my alley chat got corrupted because I was almost at the end. I was just like talking how you know how I talk too much at the end of videos and I was doing that. So like if I'd wrapped it up faster, the video would have been fine. Dante says no stamps on eBay sales. Uh huh. See it has a stamp though. Chase the Devil Diego just subscribed. Thank you, Chase the Diego. And it was like a really good episode. And I was talking about it. the title of it was going to be Allie Pulls a Sneaky Sneaky on You. Because. Because in the Allie chats on my personal channel, I just kind of, it's like a get ready with me video where I just talk too much and put my makeup on. And it's kind of fun sometimes. I'm not wearing foundation today. I, I, I sneaky sneaky the rest of my makeup with no foundation. To make it so that way I can uh, not be super oily on my nose and gross and shining. Jason says, depends on what sheet the discards come from. Great article explaining and showing discards. Oh, well, that's cool. Maxime A just subscribed. Yep. We keep it somewhat family friendly here, Wellsy. I can't say other stuff, even though I'd like to. So I say butthurt instead. Wheel of Misfortune. Jared Carthalian in a murder foil. Dusty Mace is now following. Thank you, Dusty. Don't believe we've gotten a Mythic in the second box here just quite yet. We have Rakshasa Debaser. Palace Sentinels. What about Dat cards? I want to know about Dat cards. Oh, the Rakshasa card, Tyler? Is that what you're talking about? Or are you just making a joke about discard? We have Nightshade Harvester. Elvish Doomsayer. <laughs> Wells, he says, where's your shop at? Con my wife into letting me spend some money on some boxes of cards. We're in Pinellas Park, Florida. So in Pinellas County, south of Tampa. Like southwest of Tampa. Not sure if you're from Florida, Wellsy. Dante says, I've wondered if there's any PSA discards. This I wouldn't say it would be gradable. There is like a little, little lip at the bottom, I guess, from wherever it was caught on the sheet or cut or whatever. So it's definitely not like, I don't know. I don't know what would that make, like a seven, an eight. So it's not worth grading, but hey. Hey, Allie, it's Ashton. Can't wait to get my cards today. If it isn't sold, I want that Wanderer to open in the, the first collector's box. I mean, all of this should get listed later, so, I mean, it'd probably be here. Just mention it to John when you come. Did you see our discard card? It's got a stamp. How many boxes you open? We opened a case of collector boosts already. We're opening a, a case of drafts, so we have four more boxes to go, Diego. But yeah, today has been an interesting day. Computer problems this morning, flat tire this afternoon. Well, also this morning. It just feels like I've been awake long enough that it should be afternoon. It's 12 now, I can say afternoon, but that still happened earlier. Our first four wire of this box, Nightshade Harvester. Why do we get two tokens? Instead of getting a Piper, we got a second token, I guess. Yeah, it was cool. It was like backwards in the pack. And then I'm like, what is this? I'm like, ooh, it's something fancy. It's fancy because it was supposed to be garbage. 
Is that like a metaphor for magic? Just saying. Is that discard a rare item? So, Wellsy, what this is, is when they printed the cards, they were supposed to throw these away. So this is supposed to be garbage, but it was put into a pack so collectors want it because it's not supposed to exist. So, yes. We pulled the chase card of the set, not in foil, unfortunately. But this card's probably still worth more. The card that isn't supposed to exist is worth more than the good card. It'd be like that sometimes. Steven says, you've been at work for six hours, it's afternoon regardless of the time. And that's a fact. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. We have Triumphant Reckoning. There's so many of this mythic, I don't understand why. Well, that's our first mythic of the box. Hunter's Insight Foil. Jessica's Will, Zur the Enchanter etched Mythic, Brando D99 is now following. Not sure why I had such a hard time reading that, but thank you for following. Hey, Crispy Bacon's here. Welcome, Crispy Bacon. <laughs> Bango Shanks, is it magic where unwanted junk is exciting? Sounds like Commander. <laughs> Dante says, fancy garbage is the title of my autobiography. Uh, Lucas, the discard came out of a collector box. It was supposed to be in the etched foil mythic spot. That's what it really was. It was supposed to be an uh, etched foil mythic. It came out of a collector booster. I have it on video. I'm going to make a see it to believe it episode because it was cool. <laughs> Victor says, dang, a card that tells you to discard for zero mana. That's pretty broken. Because <laughs> that's the thing with... Uh... That's the thing with miss the misprint stuff, right? Like people play with the mis misprints. So in theory, someone could play a zero mana card that says discard if they bought it, because it's a real card. They would play with it, right? That's how that works. That's how the that's how the uh, misprint people do stuff. We have wrong turn. Ivy Lane Denizen. Court of Bounty. That is a good question, Tyler. Aqueous form. That would be awesome, though. David says, beautiful blouse shirt thing you got there. Nice magic cards, too. Thank you. I love this shirt a lot. I want more shirts like this. I like the cut on the side. If I could wear guest clothing constantly, I would. Guest, please sponsor me. Please. Please. I just want free clothes from you, please. I also mentioned it. Steven, why do you keep buying mugs? <laughs> Steven bought us our own merch. Thank you very much, Steven. Thank you. That's cool. I like that the little logo pops up in a PNG file on the screen, too. That's so cool. I can't believe I forgot those existed. That is so cool. Thank you. Now I can rep our own merch. But, um, I, I mentioned it's during the alley chat that got corrupted because of the computer being dumb. I got invited to a podcast, by the way. I'm not going to say what it is, but it is a podcast that is recorded by some gentlemen in the UK, I believe. So they, they record their podcast are for um, at 9.15 a.m. Eastern on Sundays. So I'm like, you know, I got to look at my release schedule and see what I'm not going to be super up late on the stream for to be able to wake up in the morning and come in. It is. It's by guess. I got it. Last year, Black Friday at Macy's, when you know when you could still go outside and go to the mall and go shopping at 2 a.m. Yeah, it was part of whatever I guess fall collection. Hey, we have our first scroll rack. Very nice. Are you getting a Panini One One basketball? I think we're getting five boxes, Tig Hawk. We have Elegath, Crossroads, Augur, and Keleth, Sunmane, Familiar, etched. Did it have a stamp, though, Dante? Uh, 
It's cool though. It's just cool to pull that. I just like it. It's fun. Pedro says hello from Brazil. Hello, Pedro. Good luck on your unicorn de deck, Orion. Steven says, awesome, Alley Networking. Well, they messaged me and I was like, sure. I mean, I don't know what I talk about because the theme, the theme of the podcast, like I've, I've heard of this podcast. I've seen it before. I haven't actually watched any, which I should do before I'm on there just so I understand how it all works. But um, I don't really have a collection for that kind of stuff. I have a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So I'm like, I don't know what I talk about. <laughs> and they're like, it's fine. I'm like, all right, cool. How are those panini basketball boxes? Uh, well, a lot of people on the video were saying that box is hot garbage. But we had someone call and say that the Kawhi Leonard letter patch out of seven is like $2,000. I don't know what to believe. But someone came and bought the other box in person and took it home. So I don't know what was in it. But someone did buy our other immaculate box. Hmm, I don't know. It's just panini doing panini things by giving you stickers in immaculate basketball. It's ridiculous. We have Plague Reaver. Raise the alarm. We have Zat's Will, we have Kamal, Heart of Krosa, Marble Diamond. I was just about to complain we've only had four mythics, well three mythics so far, so now we're at four. We've had Scroll Rack, no actually, yeah, Scroll Rack, Triumphant Reckoning, Kamal, and the Azura the Enchanter, Etched Foil. So we're at four mythics now, not too, too, too many boxes remaining. Bubba says, you know, Ali, you almost had the same reactions pulling the discard as you did that Adam Driver 101 auto. I feel like those probably shouldn't be comparable, but I can't help how I react to stuff. But it's cool. I don't know. I just, I just, I get excited. <laughs> we have Promise of Tomorrow. These rares are starting to slide around all over the place. Sears Lantern. Uh, it, whatever it sells for should in theory pay for the cost of the box for us. Not necessarily the cost of the box for someone who buys the box, but because market prices on basketball is like really, really dumb this year. But I hate how my knees keep bumping into stuff and they make fart noises. I apologize, everyone. I do not have gas. That is literally just me rubbing against metal. Blasphemous act. It's the curse and benefits of a spinny chair. You touch stuff and it makes weird noises, but you get the spin, so. We have Colfinor, the last U. Papa Rican says, found some info on the discard card. Seems to be like you said, they were meant to be thrown away when cutting the sheets. However, it seems that the foil discards are indeed the rarest of the bunch. Foil discards were found in 2015 commander packs as well. No price range was given. Wow, thank you for the research, Papa Rican. Can't even hear it. All right, I can hear it and it makes me self-conscious. I want to let you guys know that that's not what's happening. It just happened again. It's because the way I sit on the table, this is actually just like in a regular card shop. You know how there's like the six foot and eight foot tables? This is this is a six foot table because an eight foot didn't fit in the room. But I'm sitting on all the way on the edge. So the little, the little leg that goes up, you know how the table's like this and then there's the legs like... You know, like there's the table here. I'll just show here, and then there's the legs that go on this side, and then on that side. I'm rubbing up against the one that's on this side, and that's what's making the noise. We have a port razor, so we're probably an anachroma. Nice. Two mythics in that pack, one rare, very cool. Steven says, is it better or worse if I can confirm I can hear it? At this point, whatever. <laughs> Today's one of those days I'm just rolling with everything. I'm just letting it, letting it all, all roll off me, roll off my shoulders. 
early morning, wasted 30 minutes of footage for no reason, is fine. Flat tire, whatever, I'll take care of it. Weird, weird noises on camera, whatever. <laughs> we have War Room. Konama of the East Tree. Filigree Familiar. And down to the last couple packs here. Tigox says, Allie, please do memberships. I don't even know what I'd offer as a membership perk though, Tighawk. That's the problem. Pretty much t Ziggy. Pretty much Ziggy. We have Horizon Stone. And a Moss Diamond. Because the problem with that, Tighawk, is you have to have monthly perks, which I don't know that I can literally do more than I do now. Plus, I mean, I wouldn't get all of that. I'd have to split it with Bossman. Whereas, like, any stuff on my personal channel, I get I get all of that, obviously, because it's my channel. Um, hopefully I can get monetized over there soon. We'll see. We have Sweet Gum Recluse. Lathiel. And Sunset Pyramid for our last foil of the box. All of the tiers have to have different perks so if you have two tiers you need to have one perk for the first one and then that second tier will also get the first perk but then they also need something on top of it victor c says signed lands the problem with that becomes however is let's say spartan easy is now falling but let's say it's 99 cents and we have almost 15,000 subscribers what if like one of 15 people's like i'll pay 99 cents for one signed land a month I'm going to lose money on a, th a thousand envelopes every month and a thousand cards I have to sign. Tighawk, I've looked at I've looked at the instructionals for how to set up perks multiple times. That's not that's not true. But all right, let me go ahead and straighten up these piles, move our commons and uncommons out of the way. And then we'll get to box number 3 of our draft booster case. Alrighty, box number three time. Yeah, you only need to do one tier, but each tier needs at least one. Each tier needs at least one perk. But the thing is though, is I already signed cards for free, so no one would do that. It doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't. I don't know. And I don't want to have, I don't want to like essentially have content behind a paywall. Also, because I don't know how much, I can't really do additional content. But, I don't know. And all right, here we go. First pack, box number three. Doing the whole case. Yep, Hoodwink. We have three more draft booster boxes left. I know it says two hours and 14 minutes. Look, we're starting off pack one with another tutor. But that is also because we did a case of collector boosters before. I didn't take two hours to get through three draft boosters. Although, I wouldn't have been surprised, to be honest. Steven says I wouldn't do signed cards for less than five bucks. I know. I just, I, I signed cards for free already, so. Uh, I don't know. I know some people are like, do a Discord, because I know a lot of people do that for their perks, is like access to the Discord. You guys, I don't understand the whole Discord thing. I just don't get it. Maybe, maybe I'm a boomer in disguise. I just don't get it. We have Necrotic Hex. Phyrexian Rager. Uh, 
Uh, Tayhawk, I'm not sure what you're referring to. We have Ember Wild Captain. Inspire, er, er, Lumen Grade Gargoyle. Prismatic Piper. I mean, like, I, I get it. I understand, like, what it is. I just don't understand why anyone would want that. <laughs> Steven, I make, like, you make, like, a dollar on merch. And then I get have to split it with Boss Band, so it's 50 cents. <laughs> I, I have, though. I have Fulcrum. I have joined the Discord. And I check it once every six months, because I, I just, I can't. There's, like, 15 people in it. It's too much. I just don't, I... I hate group chats. I don't need it. I'm good. <laughs> we have Rakshasa Debaser. We have Soul's Fire. Oh, no, Tigok. No, no. That was that was on the YouTube chat. Steven's over on Twitch right now. I've thought about that, Bubba, but like... People still ask even when the number's over there anyways. So. No, Ziggy, I'm not making relic cards. <laughs> My clothes are expensive as it is. I'm not going to cut them up. Sakashima's Will. Lathiel, again. Zerfleet Admiral. We have Elvish Dreadlord, Sengir the Dark Baron, etched foil. But in a situation like this, though, Bubba, if I said box number, like earlier when we are opening collective boosts, if I said box number two, people would ask which case. <laughs> it wouldn't. I mean, I don't mind answering the question. It keeps me actually remembering what box we're on in general. That way I'm not just like, uh, how far are we into it? I don't know. I don't mind those questions. We have Sakashima's protege. We have Archelos, Lagoon Mystic, Angelic Armaments, Piper. We still haven't seen any mana drains yet. None at all. Court of Ambition. Immaculate Magistrate Foil Rare. I'd love to see one. Thanks, Bubba. I try my best. It's easier on days like today where the, the chat isn't as busy. It's actually, I'm really surprised. There's actually a lot of you guys hanging out here. I feel like sometimes during the midweek streams, there's not too many people free, obviously, because it's the middle, middle of the week. But... We've had a lot of good conversation today. I'm very happy about that. But it's easier for me to keep up with chat when there's not too many people typing at once. But Nathan says, would you say these boxes are worth it? I mean, some boxes are definitely better than the others. But, I mean, we're still seeing at least a couple good cards out of every single box. There's a lot of stuff that has value in the set. So overall, I'd say it's worth it. But in general, if you're cracking boxes for specific singles, you're better off just getting the singles. But if you want just like a variety of stuff from the set, want to try it out, maybe do a draft at home... Maybe just see what you get and build a new deck off of that. I'd say buying a box. But usually just getting the singles on their own is better. Whatever, crispy bacon. You guys are ganging up on me. I didn't actually delete it, Steven. I just banned the dude and it deletes messages when you ban people. 
And just spam. Get rid of spam bots on Twitch. Hey, Joey, welcome. Hey, 91. Chroma's Will. Belborka. Dragon Mantle. I mean, this set seems pretty fun. There's also the Prismatic Piper a little thrown in there to, like, mess with your drafts and whatnot. Seems like it'd be fun to draft. We have Mnemonic Deluge. We had a Runaway Averna. Sarah for the Dawn, Piper. Wrong turn. Itch Tekic Salvage Splicer etched. It's Alex B is now following. Thank you, Alex B. Welcome back to YouTube, Tickhawk. I'm impressed by how fast you can switch back and forth. Bubba says, I really like the fact you try, do try and get all the questions answered. I don't know much about cards nowadays, and you've always been great about anything I've ever asked you on the stream. Hey, I'm glad I could help. I know I do miss messages sometimes, and I feel bad, but I'm glad I'm glad that I am helpful, and I, that I, I do try to catch as many messages as I can. We have Amareth and Terramorphic Expanse. What cards? Cards are the most valuable? Sorry, I'm a Pokemon person. Geriatric Geek, right now we're looking for this card here, Vampiric Tutor. Very nice. Scroll Rack. There is a card called Mana Drain, also Jeweled Lotus, which we haven't seen any out of here. Very nice rares. We're looking for the land cards. The rare lands out of here. They're multicolor. Also, Opposition Agents, very nice. Hole Breachers, very nice. All right, have a good lunch, Fedsy. And good morning, Dean. Dean, it's super early for you right now, isn't it? Because it's 12.23 for me. What is it, like 8 a.m.-ish for you? earlier Nathan just subscribed thank you Nathan 723 all right what you doing up so early on a Friday Dean blasphemous act you being a normal human being and going to work molder beast We have Nevin Rawls Disc, Crushing Vines. You're welcome, you're welcome at Geriatric. Ooh, nice day off, Dean. You gonna, you gonna rest or are you just not feeling very well? Hope you're doing all right. Ooh, three day weekend, party party. Your body was like, I'm supposed to be at work. And you just woke up, I see. We have Immaculate Magistrate, Core Cartographer, uh, well hopefully your leg uh, gets better. I had that like a couple weeks ago, just both my legs just felt super cramped for like a couple days. Sometimes you just need to get a good rest. We have Courts of Cunning, Sangir, the Dark Baron, Crimson Fleet Commodore. That is also true, Take Hawk. But you should have prepared for the worst if you bought NT Basketball. Nightshade Harvester. Flashbag Marauder. When you're going into NT Basketball, you should just assume you're going to lose all your money. You should buy it with that assumption. Which is sad, but if you're going to do it, you better be like, I'm doing this for fun even though I know I'm going to lose money. 
That would be my opinion. I would never do it, but like for some people, four thousand dollars is pocket change. They'd be like, eh, I could buy some cards. I just buy this pack. It's four thousand dollars. We have Hellkite Corsair, Gale Strike. If yeah, but there's like what a one in thirty-two chance of hitting a Zion or a Jaw out of NT. So like one in thirty-two boxes, you'll make you'll make money. The rest of them, you lose money. Soulfire Eruption, Liesa, and Nimrus Unas Trickster Foil Rare. Seems like you're getting about two foil rares per box in this thing. Dante says, cramping legs is the precursor to gassy knees. Every time I stretch out my legs, my knees pop. Is that is that is that a thing that's that should be worrisome? Am I gonna be am I gonna turn 24 and need knee, knee replacements? Jessica's will. Volcanic Torrent. But Tiggock, just think about this. You could buy the NT basketball and not open it. And it's worth four grand now. What is that hunk of garbage going to be worth next year? <laughs> Thanks, Tiggock. Papa Rican says, I have Rice Krispies in both my knees. I know the feeling. Me too. Dean says, the most I spent on Magic cards buying one case of Magic ones. What case did you get, Dean? Rejuvenating Springs, Tebesh Zot, Doom of Fools, I think we've seen him before, that's cool. I mean, last year's NTs are up to what, 9,000 with the Lucas? You don't want to know, so bad. Dean, was it a case of Hour of Devastation? Rabbit Kittens, we're finishing up box number three here. Two packs remain in the draft case. We already did the case of collector boosters. We got one. This was in the same box, by the way. Stamped discard in that extended art Lotus. I like how he's the only person I remember from Goodwin. But he might be the only person I need to remember from Goodwin Champions. Dean says no. All right. Was it Dragon's Maze? I'm assuming it's a set that was kind of not very good, Dean. If I'm if I'm completely off, let me know, and I'll start guessing other stuff. Betrayers of Kamigawa. I would have probably gotten there at some point. Kamigawa block. Elgeth. Although if you kept it sealed, it'd probably be worth a lot right now. Ali, I saw a Luka Doncic RPA out of 99 BGS9 sell for 285 thousand dollars four months ago. That's crazy. Fulcrum's like. Hey, Dragon's Maze is up to like $93 EV. Woo! And the auto might be fake. That was true. There was the kerfuffle with the Panini Luca autos. The Lulus. I don't know, Epicenter. I think Bossman's just gonna field offers on it. I don't even know if Bossman. Bossman's not here yet. We open up on Fridays. We open at 1. Which, I mean, he has no reason actually to come over to the other location before going to the shop. I don't know if Bossman literally even knows I'm streaming right now. I don't know what's going on. I'll be like, yo, this is cool. And then I'll make him figure it out because I just don't want to deal with it. I pulled it. Now it's his job. All right. Let me go ahead and move these uncommons and commons out the way. Joe says I got a sealed box of alliances. I think all boxes will go up over time. Some more so than others, but. I remember the oldest box we had in the store. Bossman saw a listing on eBay for like 1200 bucks of a box of Urza's Destiny. He's like, that's too cheap. And he bought it and it showed up and it was a real box somehow, some way. Fresh seal, everything, not tampered with. It was a, it was a box, an actual box. 
It eventually sold, not pack-wise, but like we sold the box. But that's the oldest box that I've seen that we've had. Box of Urza's Destiny. Now there was a point, it was cool, I guess another really big shop somewhere in Florida or like the Southeast had shut down. And about two years ago now, we were able to get, we were able to get a lot of like older boxes, nothing quite super old. But we were able to get like cases of first print runs and the card that had those buyback like Power Nine and whatnot in them. The Zendikar. We had we had Morning Tide, Even Tide. We had World Wake, the Zendikars. We had cases of original Innistrad. It was cool while it lasted. We had New Phyrexia as well. Avison restored. So it was cool. It it you know, we had that for a while, but of course that sold through. I wish we still had some, that'd be fun, but We didn't get one, Kokatiu, but we had the cases that had the opportunity to get one. Just go to Rudy's house and steal some stuff. I don't think that's kosher. All right, here we go. First pack, box number Quattro. We have Hole Breacher. Nice, rare there. Flood of Recollection. What's the best booster box you've ever opened? Mm. I don't know about that, Nathan. I don't know. I don't know that I've opened anything like particularly spect spectacular, like cool old boxes on the channel or anything like that. It'd be cool to though. Why was there a treasure token in there? Yeah, he has a Tiblet. He has a he has a bathtub of Pokemon or whatever. It should it should for sure, Kelvin. Lots of good reprints in here. Lots of really good new cards as well. Apex Devastator. I see no reason for this stuff to not keep value. Even iconic masters that people are like, this is the worst master set ever, is expensive. Tigok, it's not kosher to go take from uh, Alpha Investments and just go steal stuff from his house and open it. That's not kosher. I don't think, at least I don't think so, Tigok. I don't think that's uh, good. All right, we have Training Center. Falthus, Shadowcat Familiar. Vault of Champions. Wedding or Welding Sparks. Fable Fortitude says, the market value of playing cards continuously impressed me. My store just found eight sealed Yu-Gi-Oh boxes and each sold for 2,000 plus. It's astounding. Ooh, those must have been some nice boxes, Fable. Nice first edition boxes. We have Dawn Glade Regent. Krark the Thumbless. Life Crafter's Gift. Those Ultimate Masters boxes you've opened recently, you consider the best boosters you open on the channel. Uh, maybe that first case of Ultimate Masters, actually. That was really good. Had the Jace. Tw uh, there are 20 cards per pack, Alan. Please don't yell. Yeah, Rabbit Kittens, the value out of Iconic's actually nuts right now. First edition, Pharaoh Servant, Magic Ruler, and Legend of Blue Eyes. Ooh, jeez. I would love a first ed LOB box. Yeah, that first case of Ultimate Masters is actually insane. Or, or not Ultimate. Uh, I, double Masters. That first VIP case. Courts of Grace. We have Ghost of Ramirez de Petro, etched foil. I mean, expensive-wise, Ultimate Masters is around the same price as Double Masters right now. We don't have anything crazy, crazy up there. We got Modern Horizons still. Bossman started just holding on to, like, two cases of stuff as it comes out. 
That way in a couple years we could be cool like Rudy with all the boxes in the background. <laughs> but <laughs> I want to see a mana drain so bad. Snap of domination. Jordan Coy's main just subscribe. Thank you, Jordan. Nostro, voice of the crags, dispellers, capsule. I do not coca to you. I'm just hourly. I mean, I get 50% of YouTube spectator seating. Slaughter the Strong, Prismatic Piper. And that's why. Please go subscribe to Allie's Treasure Trove as I drop packs all over the screen. Finn, hi, just subscribe. Hi, Finn, thank you. We have Profane and Transfusion. Oh, very cool, Bubba. Of Ghastly Demise. It's always weird how some videos are more popular than others. Like, I don't know why that WWE video is so popular. That first regular box of Double Masters is really popular. I mean, I understand why that Immaculate Collegiate Football is popular because it was literally an empty relic. Um, and some of the other videos that sometimes pop off. What I think either the second or third most viewed video on the channel is me opening literally a Target Blaster box of Legendary Duel of Season 1 from Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like two packs. Why are people watching it? I don't understand. It's a really, really popular video. I don't get it. We have Archon of Coronation. I don't think we've seen this one today yet, so that's cool. Big Bird. Bird Boy. Jalen Tome. Yu-Gi-Oh! market is skewed and the fans are nuts, that's why. But like, I have other Yu-Gi-Oh! videos that aren't nearly as popular, that are actually like much better content-wise. Sometimes it just happens. Meg the Cube says, hi, how are you doing? I'm good, Meg, how are you? Morning did not start off great, but I'm having a good time now. Fulcrum says the algorithm. Why is the algorithm picking up that box? I don't understand. We have an Aurora Phoenix. Cage of Hands. Dante says the algorithm deemed it worthy. It's like the same tags as any other Yu-Gi-Oh product. It just has legendary duelists in it instead of Phantom Rage or Ghosts of Raw, Rage of Raw, whatever. I don't know. Makes no sense. We have Kamal's Will, Quain, and Undying Rage. So you joke about that, Tiblay, but I've actually had someone say, I've never seen your channel before and you popped up on my homepage. You must be paying to promote your videos. I'm like, no, it just, you just ended up here from the algorithm, man. I don't know what your problem is. We have Turtle Man, Lagoon Mystic, Never Roll. Bubba says, I was watching Rudy Rip VIP case, so YouTube suggested I watch your VIP case and I just kept watching stuff here since then. All right, very cool, Bubba. That one makes sense. I just don't understand like weird Yu-Gi-Oh things. Fable says the video might have been released during peak hours for Yu-Gi-Oh at a time when a new set released at Duel Links or something. Could be blind luck. That's true. That's true. Sometimes people will just be searching for something. And then that's just what happened. They happened to be looking for it at that time. How was Repticon last Sunday? It was very good, Albi. If you look down in the description, you'll see a link to my Instagram. I, I picked up a lizard against my better judgment. <laughs> Yumi Nectar says... That's how I ended up here. Twitch recommended you. Great stream. Oh, thank you. Very cool. Cook to you says, yeah, I found this channel during Ikoria. We have Opposition Agent. Great rare there. Bitter Revelation. 
Well, good luck with school, Meg. We have Flamkin Herald and Bell Borka. Hey, look at that foil mythic Archon of Coronation. Haven't seen this one at all today, and now we've had one regular one foil in these same box. Rabbit Kitten says, you came out for me looking for a Corey unboxing. Which is very cool, because actually, I, I looked at it, and I'm kind of I'm kind of sad when I see it, but our Corea videos didn't perform very well. Even though I put a lot of effort into them, it was actually the first all-nighter that I had done at the shop. And I published so many videos, they were ready to go for release date. They were good. They were good. I liked them. I was ready. I was like, all right, it's going to be good. 200 views on a box. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Lioncraft says you have 100 likes. Woo! That's awesome. Thank you, everyone, who's liked the video. If you are enjoying the video and you have not done so yet already, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Dante, my baby Tegu, is named Niv Mizzet. And it's a she... But it was predetermined whenever I got a Tegu, her, their name would be Niv Mizzet. So it's the, the Lady Niv Mizzet. Hoodwinky is now falling. Thank you, Hoodwinky. I remember there was one really popular Ikoria video of like a collector box and four pre release kits for some reason. Yumi Nectar is now falling. Thank you, Yumi. Laboratory Drudge. Cast Down. Yep, Niv Mizzet. Cookatius is kind of great since your long unboxing series airs Sundays and cars with Michael during Saturdays. Huh. Bubba says, I did go back and watch the Aquaria vids after I got here during VIP. I just, I remember being surprised, like, on the day of. I was like, I figured people would be looking for Aquaria. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. We have Rings of Bright Hearth. We have another mythic here, a Chroma. Almost seems like a Chroma is like a bonus mythic. We have a Slith Ascendant. I feel like even even in the collector boosters, a Chroma was like the bonus replacing the rare mythic. It was weird. But like I don't know why. Sometimes boxes people care about boxes. Sometimes I remember the Corset Twenty Twenty One bundle. Like that one was like the most viewed Corset box for a while. I was like, well, who, who's looking for bundle openings? When the first channel first, first, first started, like first two weeks, I did one of each of the uh, theme boosters for Theros. That was the most viewed video on the channel for a little bit of time. I'm like, who's looking for theme boosters? Oh. Like you guys are saying, the YouTube algorithm does weird things. But whatever, if people want to watch theme boosters, go for it. I made the video. It's for you guys to watch. We have Keeper of the Accord. Nimrus, Una's Trickster, Viserys Seer. Fulcrum says, I love my Tego. I hope you have big space for him. Right now, she's only two months old. She's like this big. I feel like she's a little bit small. She has eaten, though, since we've gotten her. She's eaten twice. And um, right now she's in a 20-gallon. But um, it's my, my best friend and I, we, we shared it. We, we somehow conned ourselves into getting a Tegu. And they're moving into a house soon with friends. They're moving out with, from, with their parents, moving in with some friends. And they have space. They're going to build an enclosure. Well, we 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 are gonna build an enclosure. They're they're building it. I buy the stuff they build. That's the rules. They feed, I clean for any pets. Like we get a snake and like you're feeding them rats. Like no, nope, I'll clean the tank. You feed. <laughs> Those are the rules. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get our big space. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year. She's still small for now, but we gotta we gotta work on that because they do grow. Females grow between. Usually three to four feet, close to the three, but I'm excited. Body of Knowledge, Gore Muldrak, and Spectator Seating Foil Rare. Welcome, Mashed Brotatoes, and hello, Intento. Court of Ire, Scrapped Iver Serpent. How's the rate? If you're talking about mythics per box, seems to be about five, including either like an extended art or an etched 
foil. This would be about five mythics per box, uh, two foil rares per box. We only got one extended art jeweled lotus out of the collector booster case. We have not seen a jeweled lotus so far out of the regular case. This is box number four we're finishing up here. Zero mana drains at all. Bioways blob. Hans Ericsson, Souls Might Foil. So yeah, weird we haven't seen any mana drains. I mean, we haven't seen any regular jeweled lotuses either, but... Yeah, she's so cute, Wanderer. I'm so, I'm so excited. And she seems very happy. She likes to burrow everywhere. Like, you put her on the couch, she crawls in the couch cushions. Um, she, loves, she loves being in the dirt. Command Beacon. Rebecca, Brute Chronologist, and Zara, Renegade Recruiter. Three rares there, back to back to back. Blade Griff Prototype. Forceful Denial. Mashed Potato says, I really want to get it back into card collecting, mostly NFL and MLB. Been years since I bought cards. Any do's and don'ts? Don't get caught up in the hype and start buying cards because people tell you they're going to be expensive. Only buy the stuff that you like because maybe it's a card that people say, oh, you should invest in this guy. He's going to be great. Turns out he isn't. You're stuck with all these cards. If you don't like the team or you don't like the player, you're just stuck with a bunch of stuff you don't want. Whereas if you actually like it, you enjoy the team, It's maybe it's your favorite team. This happens to be a rookie that perhaps isn't playing so well that particular year. You know, you're still going to be, you may not be like pleased that your cards aren't expensive, but you're still going to like the cards. So I'd recommend just buy what you like, collect the teams that you like. Don't necessarily be like one of those people like, oh, I have to go buy 10,000 John Morant's today because the, the market dipped two cents and they're going to spike next week because of X game versus this other team that's going to somehow vault them into the playoffs. Like, just, just get what feels comfortable to you. You know, if someone like me personally, especially with basketball, I did not like Panini Mosaic. I thought it didn't look very good. I thought it looked good for football. didn't think it fit basketball at all. You know, so if you're like, I don't like the design of the set just because people are like, oh, you gotta buy it. Don't buy it just because other people tell you to buy it. It's essentially probably just a, a good, good rule to live by. Just buy stuff you like. Don't let anyone else tell you what to buy. Jedi Hunter Boba said she likes the burrow. She likes Joe. Papa Rican says, I invested a rookie way back in the 90s. Was supposed to be the next greatest player and failed miserably. Wasted money. All right, let me go ahead and straighten up these piles. I'm actually think I'm going to run and take a quick break. Grab some water and whatnot. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and then I'll be back for boxes number five and six. Just a moment. So if you guys want to go grab water or anything like that, just like me. I would do that. Fulcrum says, put the time in to work with the Tegu. They are smart, so rewarding. You have a spiky lap dog. I know, I'm excited. I, I do. I've been trying to spend time with her every day. Unfortunately, sometimes I get off at work. Um, she's sleeping, but I'll go watch, make sure she's okay. You know, make sure to change the water. Because they like to poop in the water, so you gotta clean the water so they have a, a poop tank. I don't understand lizards, whatever. But she she seems very friendly. She got spooked yesterday a little bit. There was a weird noise and she jumped. But otherwise, she's very calm. She's she likes she likes head pats. You know, she's very very cute. <laughs> Mashed potato says I'm a Chiefs guy. I can't think Mahomes cards are that expensive with the emoji. Mm. <laughs> Good luck with your Patrick Mahomes collection, mashed potatoes. Ellie says, don't let people tell you what to buy as she promotes several tipping options. What do you mean, Ellie? You mean you mean the donations that help me pay my bills that people enjoying free content for 15 hours a week can give me 99 cents? Is that what you're talking about? Francois, just subscribe. Thank you, Francois. But I'll be right back. Uh, Steven, uh, you can take the call, but... I still have two boxes left, but like I said, I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'll be right back, everyone. So hang tight. I'll be back in just a minute or two. I'm going to go grab some water and whatnot.
All right, I have returned. Yeah, and I don't tell people they have to donate. If they feel so inclined, you can do so. It's not like other streamers don't do it. I don't see how that's being a hypocrite, but whatever. Mashed Potato says, does it make more sense to buy cases or just the individual packs? I mean, it's up to you if you're looking for a lot of cards. I mean, if you just want to have cards because you want to restart your collection. I mean, you could buy cases if it's a set you really like, but in general, me personally, I just buy singles. So, that's what I do. But like I said, it's up to whatever you want to do. But alrighty, we're about to get to box number five. Still have not seen a mana drain. Shay is predicting this box will have a mana drain here, which would be nice. Papa Ricans has just found a range on that discard filler card. Foil stamp one sold recently for 60. However, off center arrow one sold for 120 to 140. I mean, I don't really buy magic singles, but like I don't get really discounts. Coca to you. I'm just like a regular customer. I just happen to work here. But anyways, here we go. Pack number one. She's happy. She's sniffing. She's sniffing the air. That's how they smell crispy bacon. She's like, I did get a, a text while I was away that she did eat again today. So that's good. It's good that she's eating. She's eating her little meat mix with her calcium powder, a little chopped up tiny carrots. We have Kamal's Will, Anointer of Valor. Opposition Agent, nice rare here. Prosperous Pirates. We have a Phyrexian Triniform for our first mythic here. Fire Diamond. It's not a good year to have it though, Moneymaker. It's not, it's not the best year to be having large sporting events. Command Beacon. Guildless Commons. There it is, Mana Drain. Shay was correct. Very nice. Our first Mana Drain here in box number five of our Draft Booster case. Very nice. Very, very cool. We have your lock of Scorch Thrash. Give me one second, everybody. All right, I'm back, everyone. Boss man popped in. I just had to tell him, like, hey, we're live right now to be quiet. So, are you a Florida Panthers hater? I mean, I'm a Lightning fan, so by proxy, I don't like the Panthers, but, like, I don't particularly care either way, moneymaker. Bubba says, trying to watch the stream on my Xbox, and it's so ridiculously delayed versus on my laptop, like, 30 to 45 seconds. Wow, that's quite a lot of time, Bubba. All right, Blade Griff Prototype, Hans Ericsson. Mashed Potatoes says, I don't even know what companies make cards anymore. I'm old. I remember Fleer, Donruss, Upper Deck, Tops, and Stadium Club. All right, so Tops owns 
Stadium Club, because there's Stadium Club tops products now. Upper Deck owns Fleer and Panini owns Donruss. So your, your three companies that are for, for sports, uh, you've got Panini, Upper Deck, and Topps. Panini has the basketball and the football license. Topps has the baseball license. And Upper Deck has hockey. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's this, like Fleer X-Men stuff. Upper Deck, Upper Deck, there's Upper Deck Fleer sets. Like Fleer X-Men and stuff like that. When you see those cards, those are with Upper Deck. We have Body of Knowledge. Bell B, Corrupted Observer, Foil Etched Rare. We have Austere Command. Finclade Fugitives. We have Spectator Seating. We have Kangi Skywarden Etched Foil. Elvish Dreadlord, Command Tower Foil. All right, see you later, Wanderer Named Guy. Panini has score, Pinnacle, I uh, don't know. We have Rings of Bright Hearth, Gore Muldrak. Pilgrim's Eye. Thanks, Jihood. We have Sakashima's Protege, Obeka Brute's Chronologist, and Wheel of Misfortune Foil Rare. Court of Ire, Spontaneous Mutation, we have Immaculate Magistrate, Scholar of Stars, Hey, welcome Spider-Man G. You have Courts of Cunning. Sky Whaler's Shot. We have Bio Waste Blob. We have Jessica Thrice Reborn. Planeswalker, very cool. Oh, like lenticular cards? Uh, what was the MLB card company in the 90s who had the lenticular cards? Papa Ricans is Sports Flicks. <laughs> nice one, Hoodwink. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's Commander. 
We have Armored Sky Hunter, Sengir, we have Nevernall's Disc, Burning Anger. Reshape the Earth, Zara, and Brazen Freebooter. We have Necrotic Hex, Numa Foil, another Piper. There are a lot of cards, Alan. We have Ember Wild Captain, Amareth, and Blim. It is nice that on occasion you get triple rare packs. Uh, I don't know how many cases we have left, Moneymaker. You can always send us a message. Moneymaker, are, I don't remember. Were you saying you're from Canada, though? Uh, that would be quite expensive to ship. And unfortunately, as an Upper Deck retailer, we are a diamond dealer, but we're not an online diamond dealer. We cannot ship sealed boxes of Upper Deck. It's against their rules. We have Sphinx of the Second Sun. There's very few dealers that can actually sell and ship sealed boxes of Upper Deck in the United States. Hello, Edward. We have Sakashima's Will. We have Eye Blight Colors. And last pack here, box number five. Court of Ambition, and Averna, the Chaos Bloom, Court of Cunning, a little bonus foil rare there. I think that was actually our third foil rare of the box. That's cool. All right, we are finished up here with box number five. Just one more box remaining in our midday stream, you guys. Hope you all are having a good time. Eclectic Ninja says, I only collect cards and play any card games, but I found myself watching hours of opening every day the past few weeks. I must be crazy. I mean, if you enjoy it, it's like enjoying the hobby without letting yourself get sucked into it. You watch other people spend money. But you still get the excitement of seeing cool cards being pulled. Uh, Joseph, I know there was an MTG Arena. There were some Bob Ross lands, but I don't know if they were printed in paper, to my knowledge. The first I'd heard of it was actually this past weekend. I saw it on Reddit, but I don't know much about that, unfortunately. Do you stream MTG Arena? I don't, unfortunately, play Arena too much. Uh, the streams I mainly do are box openings. We have our, like, 7 to 12 hour streams every Saturday night, and then I have all the videos on the channel uh, that I film throughout the week. So I unfortunately don't have much time to do anything else. But it, it would be fun to do one day, maybe. I don't know. Maybe if... I don't know when my schedule would ever calm down enough to do it, but maybe. Maybe someday. Uh, Phil says, didn't know Titan did case breaks during the day. Not too frequently. Sometimes when we're opening a lot of product, I'll be able to open open stuff during the day. Steven says, I'm listening while I change my car's radiator. That doesn't sound like fun, Steven. All right, here we go. Our last box of the day. Last box. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Hello, Randall. 
What's your favorite cards to collect? Ask Meg. My favorite to collect are Star Wars cards. It's closely followed by hockey cards. We have War Room. Sanitarium Skeleton. Hey, you're welcome, Justin. Well, I'm working right now, mashed potatoes. This is my job at the card shop. I, I do the box openings. I list online. I do the mail. I do the website. I update the website. I built the website. I do the online orders, adding new product, ordering new product, finding new product. I do a lot. It's a lot, but you know what? It's fun. I'd say it's fun 90% of the time. We have Horizon Stone. Gift of Paradise. And then I also am attempting my own personal channel, which like sucks up all my free time. Welcome back, Windy City. Albie says she does it all. Thank you. I, I, I try to do it all. Business is fine, yep. Especially because we have the online presence. But the, the sports card hobbies, even with everything going on, has actually kind of gone up. It's really weird to think about. You think hobbies would be slowing down, but they're going up. Hey, look at that. We have our first regular jeweled lotus. All right, double pack here. We have Sakashima of a thousand faces. Nice. Sakashima and jeweled lotus in the same pack. Sounds great to me. Just did Spider Man, although it's on a delay, so it'll be in this pack that I'm watching you guys open right now. Momentarily, Spider Man, momentarily. Very true, got the itch. Very true. Frankie says you can open your own shop. No, not really. But. Because, one, that would be not nice of me to do. Two, it's not like distributors aren't taking new accounts, so I wouldn't be able to get any product, so it doesn't even matter. Flamekin Herald. Crow of Dark Tidings. Remember that card from Jumpstart. What's your personal channel show I could follow? Mashed Potatoes, I think it should be somewhere on my Twitch bio. But it's just Allie's Treasure Trove on YouTube. What's the best card and most expensive card you have? I have a 2015 Top Star Wars Chrome Perspectives Magenta printing plate autograph of Carrie Fisher. That's the most expensive thing that I own, I believe. Sweet Gum Recluse. Hero's Blade foil. Uh, not today, Crash. I have to message everyone. Our computer... I, I did the stream of Commander Legends because obviously I have to open the Commander Legends today, but the problem is... Hey, Bubba966 donated $20. Thank you very much, Bubba. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, the computer was freezing and crashing this morning, and I, it actually crashed as I was wrapping up an episode for my personal channel, which is obviously is like, whatever. It's, it's less important than personal breaks or whatnot, but it corrupted the file. So I was worried about that happening again because the computer, this has been making a lot of noise and just been acting weird. And the new computer has arrived, so I want to get that set up before I record anything else. So I'll be messaging anyone that has personal breaks, seeing if they want it tomorrow night live or on Monday instead, just anyone that I was going to do today. Uh, just because I don't want to risk, you know, not having the recording. That would be absolutely horrible. So just the stream today. Still got 12 boxes out of me. And we got to see the really cool discard foil thing. We got to see this. So this was fun. Have you pulled an etched Rograk? Rogak? Rograk. There we go. Rograk. Instead of Roga. We prefer to buy from you guys of a TCG player. Uh, I would think so, Fulcrum, because we opened up that case of collector boosters. Uh, you can always send us a message on the website, or these things should be listed uh, later today. So... I uh, know on YouTube it's in the description. I don't think it's on Twitch. But if you go to our website, our TCG is linked over there. That link is on Twitch. But um, And then you can find all of our stuff there. I appreciate the thought, though. That's very kind of you, Fulcrum. But we should have, like I said, we opened a whole case of collector boosters. We should have. Soul of Eternity. And then Bossman opened more on his own. I don't know how much he opened. Well, I would assume a decent amount. Bubba said, you provided plenty of entertainment for me. It's worth it. Aw, thank you, Bubba. Thank you. We have Laboratory Drudge. We have a Foil Rare, Jerry to Carthalian, True Air. We 
We have Root Weaver Druid, Nostro, Skyraker Giant, a Piper, and a Token. Wheel of Misfortune, Supernatural Stamina, we have Amphid Mutineer, and Averna, the Chaos Bloom, Keeper of the Accord, Foil Rare. Vessel Uncommon, Seraphic Greatsword, Mythic, Liesa, Shroud of Dusk, and Skilled Animator Foil. On topic of with the current opening, what is the parallel? I hear the term used a lot with sports, but it has no idea what it means. Eclectic Ninja, if you want to think about it, I don't know if you're more of a, a magic person or not, but in magic you have the regular card and then you have the foil version. In like a sports product, that'd be considered a parallel. It's the same card, same look, perhaps maybe, you know, shiny or like a different color on the front a little bit. Shay Hogan just subscribed. Thank you, Shay. But usually, let me see if I have anything over here to show off what a parallel would look like. Ah, yes. All right. So here, got an example of some parallels. So, all right, let me... Give me a second. I've got them piled up. My stack I've got going on over here. It's a lot of whoopers. All right, so this card, for all intents and purposes, this is all the same card. This is the base version. Oh, this is the blue parallel because it has a blue border. And this one's the purple parallel because it has a purple border. And sometimes parallels could be numbered. So this one here is a bronze because of the border, number five of 50. So what it is is this copy. I mean, you can get this card. It's not the same card as this one, but it exists in this card. You can get that picture in any of these other colors, but only 50 different bronze ones exist. So only 50 people total can get that card. Say it's here. Here's the here's the bronze one. So that that's what the parallel means. You know, like in Magic, they do the same thing. It's just like a fancier foil or something like that. That that's what a parallel is. Yeah, same art, but a more rare version. Yep. All right, reconstructing my pile, kind of. All right. Where was I? All right, here we go. Next pack. We have Keeper of the Accord, Renegade Tactics, TM says I pulled 50 of 50 that card, ooh, very cool. I still need the gold and the silver, I have everything else for the rainbow. We have Vault of Champions, Preordain Foil. We have Dawnglade Regent, Archelos Lagoon Mystic, or Turtle Mat. Quartz of Bounty, Null Collar. I have played before, I usually play Constructed, 
like pre-release events and whatnot. I don't actually own a deck or anything. Ham Hunter. We have Court of Grace. Scrounging Bandar. Oh, that's very nice, though, Eric. Congratulations. Yeah, unfortunately, not the Foil Lily, but still nice. Altar Jay's Foil is, especially since that's a rare. The Foils have been going up in price a lot, at least last time I checked. So that's awesome. Uh, we were not actually this time, Benjamin. That happened last time with Zendikar, but this time, no. We have Aurora Phoenix. Krark. Pride of the Perfect. Slash the ranks. Kite Sail Corsair. Oh, that's too bad, Crash. Still cool, though, to get a case hit. We have Zat's Will. And again, Arcan Arcanum Weaver. Briar Blade Adept. Commander's Plate, Mythic. We have Annoyed Altasaur. What was your favorite draft or just set to build? Uh, I haven't actually been in Magic too long. I actually started playing with War of the Spark. So, I've played the War pre-release. Corset. The Corset, no. Corset um, was before. Was after. I didn't, the last one that we had in store was Theros. I didn't get to play it because I was working, but all the pre-releases between War and Theros are the ones I got to play. I really did like the I really did like the um, Modern Horizons ones, even though it wasn't like a pre-release kit, just because I really like playing with those cards. It was fun. Randall says, I have an alt foil to fairy. I sold my Lily when it was 1,000. Can't believe it's still going up, lol. I know, I missed the boat. I remember when they were like 800. Doing more soccer break soon. Hopefully we actually were able to get a couple boxes of a Champions League product coming out next year. So that should be exciting. First time we weren't just allocated only one box. So hopefully we'll have breaks of those. But of course, as always, if someone comes in store and gets it first, it goes to the in-store customer. Yeah, it's to say's ring. You ever seen a Stone Cold Steve Austin card? Didn't actually pull one out of the WWE box we opened on the channel. Just an insert. It was cool though. We have a training center, Kadama of the East Tree. We're getting close to the end here. There are cards for Champions League, Yumi. DePope408 is now falling. Thank you, DePope. We have Staff of Domination, Belborka, and Amareth. And last pack of our case, you guys. Our last pack we're opening up today together. Let's see what we can find. Should we slow roll it? Yeah, why not? Maybe we'll find another cool error card here. That would be sick. Uncommons. Undergrowth Stadium. Felice. And Bell be Corrupted Observer for our last rare. Our last foil is Squad Captain. And that will do it here for our case opening of Draft Boosters. Very, very cool. Now, alrighty, let me go ahead. And again, I'm going to move these commons and uncommons out of the way. And we'll do a recap of our case worth of... If I just go over the Mythics, foil rares, foil mythic, etch foils. Just because that's a lot of rares. I'm looking at the pile of rares. That's a pretty big pile. But yeah, nothing too crazy in one whole case. Just one Jeweled Lotus regular. 
one Mana Drain regular, two, I think, Vampiric Tutors. But let me quit spoiling our recap here. Let's let the turtle's face peek out. All right, we did get only one Foil Mythic in the case, Archon of Coronation. Well, White Mythic there, White Bird. We had that Extended Art, Jessica Thrice Reborn. For our other Mythics, let's see actually what we had duplicates of. Not too many duplicates. Uh, Hellkite Chorusers, Soulfire Eruption, and Mnemonic Deluge. I think are the only ones we got repeats of. Because this is quite the large... I think maybe two reshape the Earths as well. No, that was a different card. Because this is just a really big set, so only those duplicates on those first ones I mentioned. But let's go through them all anyways. Take a peek. One Sakashima. I love that playmat. There's our Jeweled Lotus. Mana Drain. Definitely not bad to get two Vampiric Tutors, though. Scroll Rack, the second tutor. So that's it for Mythics here. I did believe we had a Foil Etched Mythic, but we'll get to it when we see it. We have Sengir, the Dark Baron. Xur, the Enchanter Mythic Etched Foil. And a Krark. So two Foil Etched Rares and one Foil Etched Mythic. For our foil rares, let's take a peek at all of those. Just a handful, not too many. It was about two per box. One, I believe we got three, but I can count that out afterwards. Spectator seating, not bad. Immaculate Magistrate, nice. Vault of Champions. So we had two, four, six, eight, ten. So I might have miscounted there. Probably, the average is... Actually, I do think we got kind of low on the... Yeah, if we only got 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We were for a while starting off at the beginning of the case, starting off strong with two per box on foil rares. Although we did get a foil mythic, a foil etch mythic, and a foil etch, two foil etch rares. So yeah, it was two, two foil rares per box, and there were a couple bonus boxes with those mythic etched cards. But that will do it here for a recap, and hence that'll do it for our stream here. Let me check the comments real quick. Ham Hunter says, have you played Commander? I have not. I don't own many magic cards. I have a small collection. Mostly collect for the art, not for playing. Uh, Geriatric Geek says, When's your next video, Allie? I'll have a see it to believe it of this cool error card later today. Otherwise, I'm not recording any personal breaks because the computer's on the fritz. Uh, not sure if you hear what I was talking about earlier, but I was recording this morning. Almost finished up a whole episode. Uh, computer froze, crashed. It corrupted the file. Didn't keep it. And it's been acting funny, so I figured I wanted to stream this. Because if the stream cuts out, YouTube keeps the footage so it's available. Whereas on the computer, it, it doesn't seem to keep it. So I could always restart a stream. Can't restart a personal break. But yeah, so no more videos today. I'll be switching the computer, so hopefully don't have any issues tomorrow. But yeah, a quick see it to believe it later, and that'll be it. We have our live streams every Saturday night starting at 7.45 p.m., including tomorrow. I'll have more Commander Legends drafts and collector boosters, more Series 1 hockey, and even some more Yu-Gi-Oh! and other stuff as well. Ben says, hi, any tips for starting to collect these cards? Um, just because someone says it's a cool card, if you don't like it, don't. I wouldn't get it if you don't like it. That That's the rule of thumb I was saying earlier. Someone called me a hypocrite for accepting tips by saying this, but whatever. That's come makes zero sense but whatever if that's their opinion that's their opinion get what you like don't let anyone pressure you into buying anything that like you know don't like fall for the hype on some stuff especially if you're not a fan of it originally just because someone else says it's cool doesn't mean you should necessarily change your mind scott of oakland says hello ally what good cards have you pulled today uh we had this this error stamp discard that was cool one extended art lotus regular lotus regular manager and regular scroll rack three tutors two regulars and a foil so some nice stuff here. But that'll do it for this stream. See you later. Crispy Bacon has to go back out to the saw and cut wood. All right, edgy. <laughs> edgy edgy wood, wood mountain man Crispy Bacon on Twitch. Steven says, good luck with the PC. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. Yumi Nectar says, have a good day. You as well, Yumi. Thank you very much. Paul says, quality stream. Thank you very much. Ham Hunter says, awesome video, yo. Thank you very much, everybody. But yeah, before on YouTube, I always got to ask you guys, if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the stream, but have not yet already, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate you having us with, having you with us at our Titan Cards family. And on Twitch, of course, I think all you can do is follow over there, but I'd appreciate that as well. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll probably wait for to end the stream while, for YouTube. Because I've noticed sometimes if I click end stream, it lets it run through the time I stop speaking. Sometimes it just cuts immediately. So I'll just wait a little bit and off on YouTube. Say goodbye to everybody. Alibi says, later, Ali. See you tomorrow night. Have a good day. And to all as well. Randall says, glad to catch you once, Ali. Have a good rest of your day. Papa Rican says, thanks, Ali. Great stream today. Thank you very much. See you, Tig Hawk. See you, Alan. Bye, Tig Hawk.
All right. All right. I think people starting to leave, so I think I'm good to cut now. Salty Dragon guys says, great job, Allie. Love you. Thank you, Salty Dragon. Bye, Bubba. All right. Bye, everybody. Hang tight. I'll catch you in a quick